hello, hello, everyone. I need to fix that lot, that intro. We're not on November anymore, y'all. We in this, well, we're in January. We're in December, but we're into the January call. So I want to welcome everyone in. Thank you all so very much for being here. I appreciate it incredibly. I want to get these calls going and underway. So without Further ado, let me bring up my guests. One Jen and one Allie. Hello. Hello. Hi. We need to give a special shout out for uh, to Crime Curious Jen due to the fact that literally we got these calls at uh, two fifteen my time Eastern time, and uh, Jen has put them all together. And yeah. uh, uploaded them. She worked her butt off. So thank you, Jen. Yeah, I got them at 152 and started um, almost right away uh, my time. And um, so this is how close I was. I was uploading the unlisted video to YouTube after processing all the calls and getting it all set up. Um, I was uploading the video and YouTube told me I had eight minutes left. And that was at 7.52, um, my time. You know, it's currently 8.04 my time. So that's how close I was. YouTube said I had eight minutes and it was eight minutes until showtime. <laughs> Dang. You don't get any closer than that. I worked my tail off for the last six hours. Oh my yeah, gosh. Thank you so much. And then that I can only imagine where, where your head's gonna be after doing it twice back to back in a row like that. That's okay. It's good. It's good because, um, yes, in the last six hours, I listened to 24 calls. Now, I went ahead and redacted four of the calls, so I only put out 20 of the calls. The reason for that is there were four calls on the 21st of December where it is just Letitia and Harley trying to figure out the video visit. So, like, Letitia's on the phone at the jail and she puts the phone down and goes over to the video thing. And then there's these, you know, minutes of silence. And then she comes back to the phone with Harley and tells Harley what button to push. And then she puts the phone down again and goes back to the video visit station. And so I just, I just didn't. <laughs> so we have 20 <laughs> calls for the month of, uh, oh, I'm sorry, did I say, I think I said December 21st. I meant January 21st. Yeah, January of 2021. Yes. At this point, um, so I redacted those four been... calls myself. Oh wow! At this point, Letitia has been in jail almost a year. She's just three months. She's the nine month mark. So, <clears throat> and as we heard from, and if you didn't catch this earlier, let me put this link in the chat um, for you guys. Let me put the girls' links in. So let me put in. Allie's link really cool. Why does it always want to do that to me? All right, there's Allie's. Let me put in Crime Curious. Um, as we learned from Allie's live earlier, she is reading the kites from the um, jail file. Um, Letitia did not slow her roll at any point while she was in the jail riding the kites. Allie did a fantastic live if you missed it. Um, please go over there and subscribe and watch on the replay. I don't know why my Thank nightbot you. is not working. What's happening here? Wait, hold on. Thank you, buddy. Oh, you're welcome. Those welcome, tights. Buddy. Sheesh. She's something else. Those yes. tights are. <laughs> she is something else. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, I'm also putting in. Oh, I. I'm used to being in your chat, so now I'm writing uh, your commands. That's not going to work on my channel. I'm putting in <laughs> May's um, link as well because let me just tell you guys, um, if you want your house to smell good, May D is the place to go for the best wax melts in the land, period. That's that. And Christmas is coming up, so get your orders in, and you can give them out stocking stuffers, all kinds of stuff. She does great. She does great. Um, and then here is membership, the membership link if you guys want it. 
And then um, if you don't like commitment, there you go. There's some other links for you. Okay, so uh, let me get over here to the thingy and welcome back, Jen. Thank we you. only have Allie for an hour tonight because she has an early appointment. And so it, but um, so we want to get started because I want to make the most of the time that we have with our Allie. So let me make this bigger. Hey, Jen. And and is there anything Jen. we should? Yes, yes, yes. Um, this is the month that is the one year anniversary of the crime, too. Yeah, things yes, get real spicy is. around that time. So, yeah, so yes, Allie is correct. Thank you, babe, um, for reminding me that. Yes, so this would this is coming up on the year anniversary mark of the crime. Oh my gosh, thank you, Elena, so much. I appreciate that. She gifted 10 memberships, you guys. Congratulations to That's everyone awesome. who got them. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. Yeah, so, um, yeah. Oh my gosh, Kez Chick, where have you been? I haven't seen you in like five ever. Um, so it's coming up on the year anniversary of when she committed the crime. She's been in jail for nine months acting a straight fool. Um, mm. And is there anything we need to know going into the this first call? Yeah, a couple of things. Um, first of all, I definitely okay. want to do the housekeeping. And um, we have not yet ordered February and March. The total for February and March of 2021 um, the grand total is 776 plus the fee. Um, and we are almost halfway there as far as what we have in the bank. And I just want to order them as soon as possible because these calls for January, even though we only, get, we only ended up with 24 of them, it took her almost three weeks to get those to us. So I do want to order them as quickly as possible. And if we don't pull it together, um, you know, that's okay too. I expected the crowdfunding to sort of, you know, go down around the holidays because everybody's got other stuff, you know? Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. So, I'll I'll get paid. so, you know, worst, worst case, we just have an extended time between now and the next batch of calls. But we'll keep, you know, we'll keep working on it, you know, behind the scenes and pulling it together. I just wanted to throw it out there. Um, but if we can't do it, we just simply can't do it. And that's OK, too. We, you know, we'll be back again. <laughs> you know, we're going to keep getting these calls. Um, yeah. Yeah. We'll yeah. yeah I just... With Debo. We don't get the calls. <laughs> we'll be quiet. But when we get the calls, we'll be talking again. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> um, and then the only other thing is that the actually the first call was made on January 1st at... 6 19 p.m and it lasted a full 15 minutes and it was with amy bolton but it was redacted and so this first call that we're listening to was leticia calling amy bolton directly back after that 15 minute call that was redacted okay okay so yes was, michelle be about n almost 10 minutes okay so yes michelle but the, I mean, in our time where we current, like all of us here, um, for us, yes, next month will be the four, will mark the four year anniversary. But in the timeline of the jail calls, it's, it will be almost a year um, since she committed the crime. I don't, we don't know why they redact them. They say that they redact them because personal uh, information is given. We have no idea what that means. Um, so that's what they say. And therefore they redact them. So, and there, it will be, there. it will be exactly a year in the jail calls tomorrow. Are there any calls on that day, Jen? I or curious, Jen, I didn't look. Yes, ma'am. Oh, wow. Okay. Interesting. Because that's the end of the month. So yeah. Oh man. Yeah. And and you know we we get paid again in um in December. So you know we're gonna throw in on the calls as well. Um, yeah. Oh, I'm gonna buy some. I'm gonna buy a whole month as long as they pay me what they owe me and everything good and I get my check. I'm buying a month. 
for okay. sure. I cannot wait. All right. I know, I know. Nobody's missed anything. We haven't started yet. We we always want to do as at the beginning of a new month. We always want to do a little housekeeping. So what we're going to try to get through tonight is to halfway point of the calls, and then we're going to play the second half tomorrow night on um, Ali's channel. Ali, uh, we as a community are supporting um, some a community member who has some kiddos that need a Christmas. And this is an incredibly deserving person and family. Ali, do you happen to have the uh, wish list link? So I can I do it have chat? it, but they, I do have it, but there's a problem. So they were saying in the comments that the link wasn't working to the delivery address. So she is going to create a new list when she gets home tonight off her computer. And so I took the, I have a post on my community tab, but I had to take the link off because it's not working. So I just made, like put in stars. Um, I'm currently working on it and there will oh. be an updated list soon. So, oh. and that just kind of happened right before this. Mm -hmm. Okay, because I shared it. So now let me delete this post because um, this okay. way I'm and I'll update it. it. Okay. Yeah. And I'll, or maybe I'll just make a new post completely so everyone's alerted. I just won't take it down yes. yet in case like one of the people who commented need to see what's going on. Then, um, okay. Then okay. I'm going to, um, and Mandy, welcome to the Kukaloos. Thank you for joining membership. Yes, I am going to, um, as soon as Allie gets all of that taken care of, I will share it on um, my community tab because yes, we do have <laughs> a lot of the same subscribers, but we also don't. And new people are coming all the time. And I just, this family is so deserving. And um they yes, she said she fixed it. So I don't know what that means. Does that mean share the link? Don't share the link. I don't know. Okay. Well, do. let me see if it's working. Hold on. Let me see. Okay. I sent a new one. I'm embarrassed. Okay. No, don't be embarrassed. It's don't not your fault. Embarrassed. Yeah. Um. Okay. I'll grab it while we're listening to the calls and send it to you through Messenger. And or uh, can I drop it from Streamyard? Yeah. Or I'll just send it to you to you because you it from I, I do, StreamYard but will the link to. work okay yeah okay you're a mod honey yes. i know but i didn't know it's I like do i was in, in my in my stream yard i do it all the time in my stream yard you'll be yeah, promise, okay be all right promise okay. okay so this um this um, first call between amy bolton and leticia it's about 10 minutes long and it's almost all uh it's mostly about landon if i remember okay properly oh. so oh dear uh, nay, if you're in the chat, which I did see you earlier, um, Pink Chebeki once every one uh, was kicked out on the site at, at the checkout. So I don't know what we need to do to fix that. Yep, Ellie, it posted just fine, babe. And let me go ahead and I'm going to pin it. Let me pin. Oh, I have an option. Go to channel, pin message, report, remove, put user in timeout, hide user on this channel, or remove a standard moderator. Whatever will I do? I'm going to pin the <laughs> I need to, I, I'll fix my community post as well after this. But if it, something happens and it doesn't work or something, you guys just let me know so that we can okay. try to fix it. Okay. And thank you, Shelly Bean, for gifting five memberships. I appreciate it very much. Pinche, I don't know if you saw this, but Pinche Becky, if you can, uh, you can chat with Nay on the site. All right. Are we ready, everybody, to start these calls? Yes, ma'am. All right, ma'am. Let's hit it. Here we go. Oh, Jen has the spicy intro. Hmm. Hey, I just wanted hey. to tell you one more thing. Um, I just want you to like let her know, like, I'm so sorry we can't give her that stuff right now. And the proof of the drugs, proof of him. That's so weird because she just called, like, she just texted me about that. Like, is there any? She's like, court's coming up. Is there anything Tisha can do? She's like, I know she has like proof somewhere. And I'm like, I used to be able to get into Tisha's like iCloud account. Me and Charlie figured it out, but I'm like, I don't, I don't know. I'm like, I don't know where anything is that can help her. Everything's in that second iCloud. 
because I backed it all up and sent everything to that iCloud. Yeah. yeah. Which I mean, they have and, but here, Elena's like, just yeah. nervous that, like, something's going to happen to Elena. She's like, I don't trust Al. I don't want her with him. But nobody's trusting her because of her drug issue before. Right. And that's going to be a big thing because of because of. But I don't think she's doing drugs anymore. She sounds pretty good. Which, okay, so I was supposed to call her. I know this for a fact, but I was supposed to call her in January 29th, and I was going to send her that video. I was talking about wanting to go back and live in South Carolina, and uh, he wanted it to be me, her, and the kids or whatever, and I tried to explain to him, like, I don't think it'll work like that, you know, because he was used to us doing that in South Carolina, you know what I mean? I was going to send her all that. Uh, before, you know, before we left or whatever, uh, you know, with the uh, air, the airline job, I was going to send her all the proof and everything, but mm-hmm. I can't now because it's all, like, discovery, and, like, I, we just can't, and this has to protect me, and I hate that sounds that way, but I got to get back to my child, too, and that's a big part of it. Well, what if something happens to Lena while she's with Al? You, I, think you'll be, you think she'll be okay? I don't know. I don't think I, he would hurt his own daughter. I would well, hope not. It's not about purposely hurting people. You can you can be doing something you shouldn't be doing or involved with something you should be involved in, and you can cause people to get injured. There are danger. I mean, that's just, it's obvious. It just pisses me off with Al because he, he comes off like this wonderful person that's in the military, but he's not. No. I mean, he was doing and so it's... many popping, so many pain pills because he was hiding it from the military because of... He didn't, you know how, like, they record if you have all these, like, uh, disabilities and they can, like, release you or whatever? Mm-hmm. He would always talk about being depressed and because he worked with South Carolina Guard for all them years and they wouldn't hire him there. He had to move and it caused all these problems and all this. And so he was taking, instead of going to the military because you can't go tell them that you need depressants and pills because yeah. they'll, you know he was taking them because he cut his finger off so he had those pills from that and he had hurt his knee supposedly working out and he had those pills from that and then we go anytime we went on like a cruise or something like that it was consistently a problem and i was like are you like starting to do drugs now and he's like don't say that word i need this for pain it's not drugs if you need it for pain and it just was, I mean, like, I'm telling you, those videos on there of him in wheelchairs, sick, throwing up, you know, just, like, crazy stuff. And he's not responsible. He just plays Candy Crush all the time. He doesn't pay attention to kids. I mean... He never, yeah, that's how I said. I mean, if, if yeah. you hurt the kids, it was never him. But I knew that, too. I mean, yeah. he was never there. Yeah, and when, like, the people ask me from DHS, I wasn't in my right mind to talk to them. I just agree. What if she said, I was like, no, I don't know about anything like that. No, I don't know. Because I just wasn't in the right mental state, you know, wasn't going to sit there and, you know, argue, not argue with her, but, you know, get in the middle of something. But I did tell, she, I know she was on that call that day. When I told that lady judge, I said, please, please, please consider any information that I, that we may have when you make a decision. And the lady came back because Elena was on there, the parents were on there, Elena's attorney was on there. And they came back and the lady said, okay, I'll definitely keep that in mind, but we're not gonna handle that right now. And I said that for a reason, and there's no way she don't remember me saying that because I know I said it. And I said it for that very reason. Who'd you say that to? I said that to the judge lady in one of those first hearings that uh, the custody... But I thought was, your judge was a guy. No, no, no. This is Landon and he, he is his judge, her judge. Oh, Landon's for judge. the custody case? Yes, okay. yes. I told that lady that day, and it was just like... But I wasn't mentally okay to, like, you know, provide stuff, go into it, you know, whatever, because... Yeah. Tisha, go Buckeyes. They soared. Ohio State Buckeyes. Woo, woo! Okay. They're playing who? Okay, pretend you're excited. <laughs> We're playing Clemson. Oh, Clemson. Okay. I guess I for the really third know. time in a row, but this I time know. it's seven seven now. I guess I can't. I'm talking to Tisha. I'll be out in a minute. 
I guess I can't read. My mom's like, where is, where is Amy? I'm like, I'm in sorry, my room. I'll sorry. be on I told you that I have to tell you that, but just please, tell her, I'm sorry about that part. I just, I no, love you. And it's not about that. I know. I told her, I was like, dude, she, she wants to help you. Like, I promise. Like, we're in, like, she's not, not trying to help you, but she can't do anything right now. There's nothing she can do. Here's the big thing. Nobody in the beginning wanted to help me. They wanted to, like, persecute nope. me and try to make me this bad thing. And that's what she needs to understand because she knows good and well I saved her ass so many times and saved his ass so many times. You know, and I did everything coast to coast with these kids, city to city, town mm-hmm. to town, I'm, and nobody ever had a scratch on them. Yeah, I told my mom that. I was like, yeah, Tisha drove back, flew back and forth so many times with those kids. Like, yeah. Like you were like a professional flyer. Yeah, to not like come out and say that to people like, well, wait a minute. I've told this woman how many times, thank you, because she has saved my life and my, and my kids all the time. That, that hurt more than anything, you know, and that, that will always be like that. So it's not about that part, but I'm just telling you that. Like, that's, to me, I have to protect myself now and that child on my beach. And that's where the most important thing is, you know, and that's, that's all I can do, you know, from here. Is, yeah. Yeah, and I mean, we're taking care of Harley. She's okay. No, I appreciate so. it. No, I appreate it. I just tried to yeah, everybody. Call she'll be fine. About. Yeah, and she got into that. Um, she got the power of attorney, so she should have money for January and February. So she got. She got into. Okay, that, cool. She got into that uh, Wells Fargo account, and she's got the information about. I decided what to do with that retirement is let her just get. It monthly allotments because I don't want to give it all to her. I was going to say, she needs to be smart and like spread it out until yeah, she... she's going to have to wait. She's just young. She doesn't have a good job yet. Yeah. She's going to have to wait until, I think, after that hearing in March that we have to go to about uh, the assets. We never did the assets hearing. And uh, so I can't technically distribute my... Uh, When's the evidence hearing? I don't know. I mean, think about that, to be honest. The only thing I know is you asked me something about those five hours, but the five hours weren't for me. That was just for her to get paid extra or something like that. So she's not coming back here. I didn't oh, know. she's not coming back to you. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, because I'm like, I know I'm competent and not worried about that part. That's why I was like. Um, but I feel like your lawyers are trying to push for the insanity plea. But if you no. do an insanity plea, then you're pleading guilty. You have to. No, that's not what they're doing. They're not doing that. They're not. Way. Okay, good. No. That's not, even, sure. that's not even close. They'll use if someone said that to them in private, they'd be like, "Oh hell no!" <laughs> they'd be like, "No, that ain't even happening." Like, I, just, I hadn't talked to Katie in forever. I've been talking to Patrick sometimes. Yeah. It's pretty cool. No, no, that's not what it's about. It's not. It's about uh, if you can get like on the right medicine and stuff like that, you're able to work with your attorneys. That's what it's about because I'm never able to like um, to like work with them because I'm freaking out or there's somebody in the room or I'm paranoid or I'm looking under tables or you know I'm seeing <laughs> shit on the walls, you know, like that type thing. So that's what it's about to them because they want to like me to take the right medicine so that we can go yeah. forward and hurry up. You know what I'm saying? And it's hard when That's they come it. to okay. see me. That makes sense. Yeah, when they come to see me and I'm just like a mess, they can't even focus. You know what I'm saying? So that's it's hard for you to take medicine though. You don't like to, but I know, I know you need to right now. I know. And so that might be something you have to deal with at this point. You know, just do it for now and then figure it out from there. Yeah, that's where they're at. They're just trying to um, get to that point so I can work with them so we could hurry up and get on. They're sure. confident. I mean. They're confident because they know better. And the doctor lady, when she got ready to leave, she just looks at me and she goes, I believe you 100%. And she walks out. So. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> well, you got to hang in there then. All right. You know, hang in there. All right. I'll talk to you later. All right. Sorry. All right. I love you guys. Tell mom I love her right. and toss Steve, Steve high and the doggy high. All right. All right. Well. All right. Bye. <laughs> Okay, well, what do you guys think? I'm going to let y'all go first because you guys are guests and that's manners. New year, new me. <laughs> Hold on and let me turn my mic because I'm on my earbuds. One sec. Okay. I love that she used the word persecuted in reference to herself. 
Um, she really believes that's what happened. I mean, I think she knows better, but you know, she even lies to herself. So she's been persecuted and she has to protect herself and she has to protect Harley and Landon can just wait. And I like how Amy's like, well, is Lena safe? You know, Lena, oh my God. Amy's worried about Lena being safe with Albert because, you know, by this stage, um, you know, Letitia is half-assed trying to cahoot with Landon, kind of, not really. I mean, she's given her the old carrot and stick, right? Um, but now right. Albert's the bad guy. Now she's saying that Albert is the one who killed Gannon, you know, and that it should be <laughs> manslaughter, right? Um, right. And it's not about you hurting them. It's about being involved with something that gets them hurt. And then, oh, no, my lawyer's not going after the insanity. No. <laughs> we go, okay. We like how that right. turned out. Amy, what do you think now? Right. Right. Because I know you're listening. <laughs> right. And now Albert's a drug addict because he had pain pills at least twice. And she has <laughs> videos of him, like, in a wheelchair and throwing up. That gave oh, me my like God. and Amber Heard vibes. Um, <laughs> oh yes. Yeah. And um like and Harley's time gonna Amber get, put the ice cream in Johnny's lap while he was asleep. Right. And then to proceed to, to take a picture. Yeah, like that. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, and that's the way Letitia is all the time. She's always looking for dirt on people. Even if she's happy with you, if you give her a chance, she's gonna make some record of you screwing up in case she needs it later. I mean, she's all about that leverage. She always has been. Um, oh, right. and, and I like how Harley is now going to get that massive retirement in monthly installments because she can't handle large amounts of money. And um, that right. can't happen until after the Astra asset distribution hearing in March. But So now know, this, this will be the seventh excuse. Mm -hmm. Right. And, and, you know, is she talking about the actual retirement that she got that wasn't even $1,500? Or mm -hmm. is she talking about the life insurance policy? Or is she talking about the money from the cartel? Um, we, we don't know what she's talking about, but it's this huge sum of money that uh, Letitia is going to get because she's worked so hard and she's going to give that to Harley in monthly installments like she's about to become some sort of trust fund baby. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. And just for the record, look, if if everything that she said about Al was true, there would not be any pills in that house for her to have given Gannon in the first place, period. Because yeah. that's not, not how it works. Um, true. So, it, you know, and it's just foul. She's just a foul person. And um, mm -mm, I just can't with her. Although... Um, I guess has she is she no longer at vampire camp? Did she get all of her not special today. powers? And so now she okay, okay. Yeah, okay. not today. And I um, like how Amy is. I like how Amy is concerned about Letitia's attorneys because they're pushing for this competency thing, but Amy is unaware apparently that Letitia has cut off Aunt Katrina. She's cut off her defense team. Uh, she's talking about vampires and Fruit Loops, and and so it's the attorney's fault because they want a competency evaluation. Right. She's a vampire. Yeah, let's right. let's check her out. See, and the thing of it is, okay, it is her attorney's job to advocate for her, and right. to to be competent to stand trial, y'all. The bar is low. OK, basically, you got to know what the judge does. You got to know what your charges are. The, the biggest obstacle really um, is you have to be able to assist in your defense. So if you're Leticia and you are running around the jail and to your attorneys and to people on calls saying you don't know why you're here, you uh, are at a uh, vampire camp. Um, <clears throat> it's Thanksgiving time, but for, for, for everybody else, but for you, it's about to be feeding season. Um, yes, your attorneys 
if that's what you're talking about during your time with your attorneys, then your attorneys are going to say, hey, this hoe needs to get competency tested because she's not assisting in her defense. They're there. I mean, this is also during the pandemic. And so they're they're already having to do a lot of workarounds that they normally wouldn't have to do. A lot of different procedures are put in place, right? That they that wouldn't normally be there. And they're having so their time is limited, right? And this Heffalump is out here saying that, you know, she she failed witchcraft school, like she's at some bootleg Hogwarts. And then now she's decided, well, you know, which which witchcraft wasn't the life for me. Now I'm going to be a vampire and I'm going to get all these special powers, except for the power of fucking honesty. Trash back. OK, that's all I had to say. Sorry, that was a long rant. And we're never going to get through these if I keep going. What do you got, girls? <laughs> Anything else or should we keep going? <laughs> Let's go. No, just okay. that the next one is a call with Harley. And it's going to be mm -hmm. about five minutes. Um, yeah, I, I won't even, uh, well, I, I, okay. I'm just going to tell you there's apparently yeah. a chip in Letitia's arm that makes a doorbell sound and she really wants to get it out. So, oh, for fuck's sake, she so had a she's going to play with Harley's head for a while. Okay. Cause oh, she had a God. chip in her head last uh, chips in her arm last month. Remember? Yeah. She was telling yeah. Harley the same thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Shut up, Letitia. All right, here we go. Hello. Hey. Hey. How are you doing? Just feeding the dog. Feed him three times, right? Mm hmm. He had to work today. What'd you say? Yeah, no. Where you been at? I tried to get you yesterday. Were you partying? No. I've been sick, actually. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. Sit. Do you? No. Sit. Chance, sit. Sadie, sit down. Stay. Stay. Good job. Come on. Ow. You okay? Yeah, I'm still trying to get this um, chip out of my arm, and I can't get it out of my arm. Mm -hmm. I just need to give me something, and I can, like, oh, cut it out of my arm. Because the chip is, like, controlling my brain. But I got a spot already made, but I just need something to, like, open it all the way up so I can get the chip out. Mm -hmm. But, um... I feel like red because I tried to get it open, but I need something sharper, you know. If I could just get the chip out, you know. Well, I think maybe you shouldn't mess with it. I know, but I got to get it out because if I don't get it out, they, like, have these people controlling my brain, and that's the way they're doing it. Well, you're in a hurting yourself. But if I get it out, it'll be done with it. But you're gonna end up hurting yourself. I'm not gonna purposely do that. I just want to get it out. I know, but you're gonna end up hurting yourself. Okay. Well, if they, if they just give me something different and help me get it out, so I'll wait and see if the. I guess the nurse last night, if she could just give me some scissors to cut it out. No, I don't think you should do that either. But it just won't stop uh, controlling my head, you know, because it wasn't these people here. They're the nice people 
It wasn't them. It was the people that come here with that other lady. They bought it and they put it in there. And like it's like a doorbell, ding, 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 in my head the whole time. Mm, that's I don't crazy. Want the doorbell to stop. Yeah. So if I get the chip out, the doorbell will stop. You know. Yeah. I'll eat and like maybe they can give me like surgery or something to get it out. Yeah. Just Pretty don't do it yourself. Okay, I I won't do it anymore. If I tried to get it out, it would help me help me not them not like how but that can tell me what to do, you know. Yeah. What are you gonna do today? I don't know yet. Okay. Is you got you kept Sadie on a leash? Yeah. All right. Well, don't forget to start working on your list of stuff to do. Okay. Did you you need to finish those applications? Okay. Um. Did anybody write you back? No. Okay. Call him later. Are you sure you checked? Mm hmm. Okay, cool. All right, All right well, I'm going to go like throw. There's another way to get this thing out besides me getting it out. I'm going to write. Okay. This though be able to get it out. Okay. All right. Talk Love to you. you. Love you too. Bye bye. Hello? Hey. Hey. Was the first one not free? Hey, do I uh should I just keep playing this one, girls, you think? Like yeah, this one's only one minute. This. Okay. This one the All next right. one is want... only one minute and twenty Okay. Okay, I'll play it then. All right, here we go. I don't know. Oh, okay. That's why I hung back up and called prepaid because I was like, I didn't accept it because it wasn't. I'm at the gym. Oh, okay, working out, working out. Yeah. Getting any muscles? Yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> I am. Me and Joe have been going every day. Okay, where are you getting muscles at? In my legs. <laughs> I thought your arms. My legs. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I got you. There's so many people here today. At the gym at your place? Yeah. No, we're at Planet Fitness. Oh, okay. Oh, everybody's trying to work out. You know, they did the New Year's resolution, probably. I know, right? All right, well, I'll let you go work out. You didn't ever get a message from me, did you? No. Okay, she, Leah, they said their messages weren't working, so I wasn't sure. No. Uh, um, they said they must not be working because they didn't get them. Huh. All right, well, I'll let you work out. I just thought I'd call you real quick. Okay, I love you. All right, love you too. Bye. Bye. Hello? Hey. Hey. What's up? Nothing in that one. Oh, okay. Sorry. I didn't know. It's okay. It was a free call, right? No. What? Oh, are you sure? Yeah, it's okay. Then. Okay, well, I won't take you in a minute. All right, I just want to say I love you. I love you. You sure you're okay? Yeah. No. Yay. Okay. Okay. Hi. Hello? Hello? Finally. I was in the shower when you called me earlier. I was like, oh my God. I missed her again. It sounds like travel one more time. So I did. What are you doing? <laughs> Reading my Bible. Oh yeah, I was reading mine earlier. Um, 
So we were reading from uh, Romans about, well, we were doing Corinthians about suffering from Second Corinthians chapter 4 and 5, and then we went to First Corinthians chapter 12, and I was telling them about stuff, so then we went to Romans. Mm. Yeah, I think I got the chip out my arm. Good. Yeah. I don't have an arm anymore, but I got it out. What do you mean? I'm just kidding, but I did get it out. <laughs> mm-hmm. No, I I just kept going and going and going, like, messing with it. And I think it fell out when I went to sleep, so, because I haven't heard it, like, dinging like a doorbell in, in a couple of days, so I think I got it out. Mm, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Well, and I took I stopped taking this medicine they tried to give me at night because it was like making me like um wake up like choking and like shaking and it's supposed to help mm-hmm. you get some sleep, but you know how like medicine always does the opposite for me. So Yeah. Then it, the other one was making me really, really hungry at like two AM, three AM, four AM. <laughs> That I was almost gonna yeah. eat, like eat my arms, you know? Yeah. And you know, if it was something was making me hungry, then it was probably like, like crazy. So I was like, no, nah, I don't like that stuff, man. Um, yeah. I still don't go to sleep good, but I don't, I don't believe in that mess, man. And it was just, like, some simple stuff to, like, go to sleep. This would be, like, this blood pressure pill that, like, helps you sleep and all that. I'm like, no, nah, I'm good. Because it was, like, my body would be jerking, but I couldn't get it to stop jerking until I woke up. But, like, I knew it was jerking. Mm. I know. Because they put all these people on, like, all these crazy meds and stuff like that, you know. And then they turn into zombies yeah. and stuff like that. And I was like, no, nah, I'm okay. I ain't trying to turn into zombies. Mm. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, what did you do today? I worked in all day. You work? Yeah. You still save my seventy dollars? Yeah. Okay, cause I'm about to call you in a couple of days to send me some books. I need a Sudoku puzzle too. I got rid. <laughs> I got really good at Sudoku. Mm-hmm. Well, because it keeps my brain entertained for like two hours. That's what I used to do at work. Do you like it? Yeah. I can do the medium to hard right now. The difficult levels. Like I copy them out of the newspaper. Well, we we hardly ever get a newspaper when we do get it. But I like getting the ones that are like medium difficulty to to like expert or whatever but the expert one I spent like six hours on it one day <laughs> I was like going crazy but it helps keep my guess mind what? Guess, what I got today. guess what I got today guess what guess what I got today uh what a picture of something what a picture of piping Oh, how'd you get that? Yeah, she found me on Facebook, I guess, and she sent it to me. Oh, what was he doing? He said, he said, hi, Harley, I know how much you love Pikey, so I wanted to send you some pictures of him. He's mostly blind and deaf now. But he is adapted beautifully and is still the sweetest boy. One, in one picture, she was holding him. In the other picture, he was cuddled up in the bed with a big gingerbread blanket. And in the other picture, he was in the bed, but the bed looked too big for him. But he has so much gray hair. That sounds crazy, Gray. He looks like a chihuahua. No, because he just lost a lot of weight, probably in gray hair. We'll save those photos so I can see him. Um, he's probably what now, twelve? I don't know. Twelve or thirteen, yeah. He's old. 
very years. Uh, you know what? That was good. We gave him all that heart room stuff then. Yeah. Well, well, speaking of which, what has little crazy Sadie been up to? She's in the cage right now. They're in the cage now? Yeah. Why? She's been upset. She just, she just like, she able to be laying down and she'll just lay on top of him, like, literally. Well, she loves him. Like, she'll find, she'll find any way to be, like, touching him. It's funny. Because she loves him. He was in my dream yeah. again, and we lost him again. Oh, and my God. There's, like, well, I told you that medicine, it would make me drink crazy. So then I stopped taking it, so it made me drink good. But then on this dream, he was, okay, so I had all these dogs, and Pipey was in one of them. That's crazy that you got a picture because I dreamed about him. And there was, you know, Sadie was in there, everybody was playing, whatever. We couldn't, and I counted all the dogs because I had, like, 12 dogs. And I was like, we're missing one. I was like, where is Chance? Kept going, kept going, kept going, couldn't find him, couldn't find him. I was freaking out. Okay, my mom has this, like, wicker chair in her house with, like, this orange thing she's had forever. He was hiding behind that chair and was blending in with his skin color. Oh, my God. Crazy. You know what Sadie did today? What? He jumped up on the, tea, the coffee stand and he ate my food out of my she ate my dinner out of the bowl. <sighs> Wait, so now she's jumping up? No, like she didn't like she can't jump up still, but she put her paws on the table and she's like tall enough. Oh. She like stuck her in when she started eating it. Oh, so you had to let her have it then, huh? Yeah, it was over then. It was already. Mm mm mm. Look at that smell. She liked Jimmy Sabachi. Chance was probably Jimmy Sabachi. Probably. I don't think you saw. I was supposed to get that picture back from them. I sent that um that picture of them two. I sent it for the drawing to be done. Remember I told I was getting that portrait done? So I should, mm -hmm. I should be getting that back sometime soon. No, you know. You didn't get any messages for me, did you? No. Okay. You're like, no, no. Like, I don't know, but I'm just going to say no. <laughs> no. You don't even be looking. You just be like, no. I said I know. How do you know? There's a, certain sound, there's a certain sound that comes up on my phone. All right, we well then check in, look, and see if you missed the sound. I did it. Anyway, yeah, well, I'll, um, call you and give you some of the books to send me out of my thing, but you still should have money, okay. right? You paid your January stuff? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Did you ever do your necklace thing back? Like, the way you were going to do your necklace thing? The design thing that you're doing. Oh, yeah. Did you like it? <laughs> yeah. Well, I just can't do anything yet because I have to order them. You can't order them. But you just have to order you one? Yeah. How much are they? Well, like, we were looking, I was looking at it by, like, bulk. Oh. Uh, <gasps> what's wrong? Yay! Yay! Oh, my God, my friend! Yay! What? Your stimulus came. Who did it? Yay! <laughs> Yay! How'd you know that? 
it just it just hit my account. I was wondering where it was. Were you just stalking it? Yes, I was stalking it. <laughs> How much was it? Six hundred dollars. Yeah, that's what I thought. Well, you can get more books. <laughs> I know. I'll have to call you back, so make sure I get my stuff for you. Send it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna send it. I learn. I am not spending no money. This is what I do. I put only the amount of money that I that is in my that I know my do are. I leave it in my bank account, and then everything else I transfer to my cash app. And my cash app, if I have money on my cash app, that means that I have money to spend. But then I also take money at the bank, and then I hide the money for myself. Like right now, I have money hidden for myself. <laughs> <laughs> well, then see there, you'll be good until that you get that money. So. <laughs> I'm so happy right now. God, I thought it was never going to come. Because, well, like, everyone had gotten me. And I was like, mine's not there. Mine? Mine? Well, you know what I mean. And the IRS website is down and everything. Like, you can't get on the IRS website. You haven't been able to call yet about that return? No, everything's, like, like, this, like the whole website is, like, down. Like, you can't get on it. <laughs> Have you done those applications? Huh? Have you done those applications? Those are even down. Okay, well, you need to have them done before school, because when does school start? The 19th. All right, well, you need to have it done before then. Yeah, because I was, I was, like, going back on them, and then um, I was going on all kinds of different things, because I had found these all. I found like the Hope Foundation and they paper your rent and all kinds of stuff. And but like every single website like that, they were just all down. Yeah. Yeah, just keep trying those and then um what was I gonna say about the other thing? Uh yeah, once you find out about that the twenty nineteen return or whatever, I mean you should find something out about that because I never got it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And then um and then you don't have to do yours yet because for next year because um I have income for January and February, so I'll tell you what to do with that later since you got the power of attorney and all that. So you can get more for that. And guess what, Mom? What? I get to and I like when I file my taxes this year. Mm-hmm. Like people who did a file last year, mm-hmm. even if like you were claim on taxes, mm-hmm. um, you can still get stim- you can still get both of the stimulus fees. Hmm. They're gonna like they're gonna like revert it back to you when you file your taxes. You have to like just check some marks or something. That hmm, you didn't file last year. Yeah. Yeah. You have one minute remaining. All right, well, that's cool then. I just wanted to check on you, and um, I'll call you again. And when do you work tomorrow? Yeah. Okay, then I'll have you do the stuff the next day. Then see if I can tell you what to see. I work. First ten to five. Okay, then I'll just wait and um, try the next day so I can tell you what um. What to send me, and then since you know you got my the stimulus, I'm I'm about to decide how many Sudoku books I want. Just kidding. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, I love you, sweetie, and I'll call you. I won't call you tomorrow unless I feel like I I need to, which I probably will anyway. Love you. Okay, love you. All right. Bye. 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 Okay, that was quite a lot. Um, the first thing I want to say before I ask the girls what they think is I I, I get it um, with, you know, cutting Harley um, a break. I get it. But if you have earbuds in, what Jen did was a kindness. Prime Curious Jen letting us know that she was about to screech like that because had I not looked at that and turned the volume down, just in case, I would have been 
highly irritated because it was loud and it was very high pitched, um, like literally probably two octaves below only dogs can hear. I mean, I get being excited over uh, like when you're that age, 600 bucks is is money. All right. So hell, it's, listen, when you're my age at 46, 600 bucks is money. So, I mean, yeah, I would probably especially when. Too. <laughs> Especially when you're living on your own and your mom has been promising you all this fake money for so long. Um, you know what I mean? That's definitely going to be exciting. But I will say, oh, my God, you guys listening to her. It, it's really frustrating to hear her say stuff like talk about cutting that out of her arm. It's all about her, her medicine, her this. I, oh, my gosh. It's like, dude, this is your child. Don't you care what she's up to, how she's doing, what she... Nope, not at all. And also, I want to, uh, I was thinking about this the whole time. Today, during the kite slab, I was looking, <clears throat> um, like, in the headlines around this time. And it had yes. just came out. Um, remember, it had just came out exactly to the extent of, like, his injuries, Gannon's injuries. So, yes. I was keeping that in mind while listening to this, you know, and listening with Amy. Um, but I don't remember the exact date, but it was right around this time. So I don't know. It's You're just right. interesting. I, was, I mean, I was there. It is interesting. Mm -hmm. She, okay. And so somebody had asked about the stimulus checks oh, and do prisoners get them? Now, I don't know about like prisoners in prison, but to be fair to Letitia at this time, she is in jail suspected she hasn't been convicted yet and that's how the system is going to view her so <clears throat> everybody got a stimulus check i don't know about people in actual prison but people leticia would get one all right jen what you got for us i see you unmuted yeah i'm a little frustrated um okay i'm allowed to have yeah. an opinion I work hard. I have always gone back and forth on the topic of Harley. Me warning people that she was about to screech really was a kindness. That was the intention. And it's okay. It is okay if I comment on Wait, what, what I believe to be a fact that her entire demeanor and voice changed when that money came through. Now, I didn't call her a name. I didn't say anything bad about her. I just said that she's using a whole adult voice now. Right. You're right. Okay, wow, I didn't, I didn't condemn we her. We talked about this a lot. I, yes. Yeah, um, it's okay <laughs> if you don't, if, if somebody doesn't agree with that opinion of what we all just listened to together. Um, I was not, showing up on on harley hunt's doorstep with torches and pitchforks i didn't call her a name it's okay to notice things that's what we're doing we're listening to these calls and we're picking them apart it's research it's you're study right. and it's discourse you're right. um you're right and i do feel sorry for harley in a lot of ways but i also calls them like i sees them and that's what i saw and i'm just gonna go ahead and mute i had some other stuff but I'm just, no, no, I'm just no, really frustrated no, right now. You get right no, back I'm here frustrated and, and I don't need that stuff. to come out right now. Okay, I got to go take a right. chip out of my arm, Jen. Oh, There's no, a chip oh, in my arm. That. It's controlling my brain. Oh, it's controlling it my like brain. Does it sound like a doorbell? Does it sound ding like dong. a doorbell? Ding dong. <laughs> ding dong. <laughs> okay, no, no, wait, I'll, I'll be. Just, I'm going to, I. Okay, babe. Okay. You, yeah, you I'll, just, I'll be back after me. the next All call. Right, I just need see. a little breather. And remember, remember, right. and I'm sorry for being overly sensitive, but remember, I just did a six-hour nonstop high-speed crunch yes, of Letitia's jail calls by myself. And so my brain's yes, not you. really right. So I'm just going to sit out for just a minute, and I'll be back, okay? I love you. Okay, babe. Okay, love we love okay. you too. Okay. All right, I just want to say this, you guys, and this is the last time I'm going to say this for the chat. Listen, it is okay for everybody to have their opinions about Harley. Everybody means everybody, everybody on the panel and everybody on the chat, okay? In the chat, not on the chat. You know what I mean. All right, so let's all take a little breather. 
okay? Get your get your shoppers in line, harness your chi. We're all going to be nice because it's a lot. I, okay. I have a very Leticia serious. Gets people pressed. He definitely <laughs> does. You have a, I had a really good point and I totally lost it. And I don't know how, but hopefully it comes back to me. But it was really good. Uh, like, comes, uh, it needs to come back. <laughs> I need for you to make it come back because you said you were dipping out at 10 and it's 10.02. So come on. I know. I and I'm going to feel bad because of, I don't know. I wasn't watching chat, so I didn't know, you know, I I don't think I think people need to not get mad at other people for their opinions. That's ridiculous. Come on now. We can all be yes. adults. I just you know what I mean? That's just how I feel. I don't care how anybody feels. I'm not going to get mad at you for it personally. That's your opinion. I just I don't know. I think that so just, but that was not my point. Yes, let's that, just that's reset. Just let's just yes. Okay. Let's just reset and everybody just yeah. do a little cleansing breath or whatever the hell they tell you in Lamaze. I didn't take Lamaze. I'd have my kids that way. I had C-sections. So, um, and I absolutely just, could have overreacted. I'm just sensitive because, you know, what does she say? No, I'm not no. in the right mental state. <laughs> what, what's yes. one of her excuses? Yeah. I wasn't in, I I'm wasn't not in my the right, right mind mental at the time. state. Yeah. I was looking underneath tables. Things are coming out of the walls, you know, all right. those things. Right. <laughs> Yeah, I'm. I'm sorry. I just. I. I, I apologize. All right. Oh, you're sorry for yeah. being human. Well, how damn dare? Uh, <laughs> how damn dare. Grill. Thank you, babe. How damn dare? Damn dare. Okay. Listen. Let's. I guess. Let's. Let's put the focus back where it belongs on the demon that is Letitia. All right. And I'm gonna join you guys in the chat. Okay. Yes, babe. Bye. Ellie. Okay. All right. All right. Night. Bye. Good night, babe. Love you. All right. Let's. Hear this next call. And remember, Letitia is the demon. Okay? She's a whole debook. Telling y'all. All right, here we go. Hello? Hey. Hey. Where have you been? Nowhere. I've been calling you for two days. Mm -hmm. No, I... I talked to you the day before yesterday. <clears throat> you talked to me on Sunday. You talked yes, to me on Friday. Tuesday. No, today's Monday. Yeah, you talked to me on Friday. Oh. You missed your call? Yeah, I called like three times. <laughs> what are y'all doing? Huh? What are y'all doing? Nothing, I know. Oh, okay, cool. I'm trying to make the fire. The fire? To get people to come there? Um, no, it's for a bit. We're having a talk on Tuesday. Oh, talk on Tuesday. Why are you yelling so much? Girl, you better get sleep. I do. <sighs> yawn, yawn, yawn. You better be taking your vitamins then. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was waiting on a delayed response. Uh, I do. <laughs> How was Shans and Sadie? Good. I had a dream last night that Sadie died. Oh, God. Actually, that's what woke me up this morning. Yeah, and I had a dream that Grandma went in the closet and shot herself. What? Yeah. I know, I woke up too. Usually it's about chance being missing. <laughs> what time was that? What? What time was that? Was that this morning? No, it was like last night. Oh, I was going to see if we did that at the same time. No, it was last night. Well, it would have been last night, like um, midnight your time. Mm hmm. Because yeah. I had to go to sleep. I had slept in a few days. You know, so I had to finally go to sleep. And, um, yeah. You talked to Aunt Brenda? Yeah. 
What she went up to? Nothing, just working. I tried to call her yesterday. I'm but trying to get her to give me my car back because I got another job. Where oh, we're at? At Top Golf. At who? Top Golf. Oh, I was like, Top Golf. What's that? Top, top Golf. Where is that at? Mm-hmm. Where is that at? By the beat. By the beat. By Broadway, really. Oh. You know the place like where you hit the golf balls off the building? Yeah, I didn't think it was called Top Golf though. Yeah. I thought it was called something else. Nope. She was like, mm, you're going to have to give me a couple of days because I guess she's worried because since it's in her name, she would be liable if anything were to happen, I guess. Oh, God. I totally don't even ask her about this stuff anymore. I mean, I didn't really like... I mean, You I have one know. minute remaining. I'm just really trying to make her feel bad because not that I would do this, but I was just like, it's okay, I'll just leave her. Well, um, why am I only have one minute left? Oh, was, was it a free call? Mm-hmm. Was it a free call? Oh, okay. Yeah. I was confused. All right, cool. All right, I'll let you put in. All right, love you. Love you too. Okay, bye. 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 Okay, this this is selfish and just for me. <clears throat> Sometimes I need a break and a reset before we listen to Aunt Brenda. Tisha Lynn, <laughs> how you doing, baby? Sometimes I just need to talk a little smack before I can listen to Aunt Brenda. Okay, so. Okay, so here's the deal, you guys with the closed captioning oh welcome psycho cunt i've been dying to say that out loud i'm so glad you became a <laughs> member just so i could say that welcome to the news. i'm so glad that i that you said something that i could say out loud we don't have closed captions i'm going to explain what had happened what had happened was we rushed not not even we because i wasn't there jen crime curious jen in an effort to get these out to us as quickly as possible, it it she hauled butt. And what happens is the um, processing through YouTube, the, the closed captions takes a while to ca- to actually load. So we won't have um, the closed captions on these calls. But when Ali does her live tomorrow, she will have them. They just take a little oh. bit to load, and I'm sorry. But it's a YouTube thing, and um, yes. I was going to say, I had them them on, but I didn't know that. Wow. Yeah, that takes a... So when we... Okay, so whenever you... Whenever you sent me the link... link, Oh my gosh, Elena, thank you so much. 10 memberships. Woohoo! Thank you so much. Awesome. Congratulations. So... um, Whenever you sent me the link, you sent me the link, I would imagine, for the eight, for the SD processing. That is what processes the quickest. And then the mm. HD comes and then the closed captionings, you know. So okay. we'll have them. Don't worry about it, Joe. We'll get them. Um, but for now, it is what it is. Bless Harley's heart. She'd just be talking right up on that phone. She just, Harley, babe, if you ever hear this. When you're making phone calls like this, back up off the mic. It's not about being on top of the mic that makes your voice loud. It's about projecting the voice back up off the mic. And I know you're at work, so you can't even talk loud. So there you go. Right. I like how Um, Leticia's such a one-upper. You know, Harley had a bad dream about Sadie, and Leticia's like, well, I had a bad dream about your grandma. Yeah. (laughs) It's the most dysfunctional ass relationship and it's it actually really makes me me sad you know because it's it's hard to hear um mk listen one of these days i'm gonna get you up on this panel and i'm gonna have you say all the hilarious ass stuff that you say in the chat okay because <laughs> we didn't little mk lynn in our life <laughs> 
just your little one-liners. I love them. And yeah, I think that um, maybe, maybe for Christmas Eve, maybe me and MK can, can act out one of the calls and you can be <laughs> <laughs> like a, like a really messed up recreation of the nativity uh, only this time with demons. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, like some bikes and we can do that. <laughs> <laughs> for Christmas, just reenact one of these calls with Aunt Brenda. Baby, you're humongous. Okay, love you. Bye. Oh my God. Uh, and Harley got a new job. Yay, Harley. Where is she working? Because we didn't get to hear that because, again, she talks too close to the phone. Top Golf. She's working at oh, Top, Top Golf. Golf. So I think it's a second job. I think she's still, you know, at the property management company, but she's also got a second job at Top Golf which is not real estate or Aunt Brenda or, you know, any of those other jobs she was supposed to do. Um, but it's something, I mean, you know, and, and keep in mind too, that not only is Harley getting all of these phone calls from Letitia with directives and check the messages and file for the things and look up the things yes. and order me books yeah, and all that, secretary. but she's also, right. She's also getting those calls from Brenda. She's also getting those calls from Amy and Letitia's writing her letter letters with lists of things to do. Um, so, you know, she's probably there doing has right. got to be for us to get our paws on those letters. Yeah, Don't I tried once talk. and they turned me down, but I haven't tried again since. Let me try. Um, okay. Toby Bird wants to know um, real quick. What are we? Toby? How much shy of are we? Um, we're, we're right about halfway there. I don't have the exact number in front of me. Um, okay. and I didn't have time to prepare. I also, I meant to, you know, look up the paperwork so I could cross, cross reference like the jail files and the case files and the press and the court paperwork, you know, for January, but I'll have yeah. that stuff together by tomorrow night. I mean, come on, Jen, you, you, you put together <laughs> two hours of calls and you couldn't get the paperwork in order like WTF. Oh, damn, dare. I know. I know. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, what was I? Um, a ter an interpretive dance, Kimberly. Uh, De Debbie Baker, um, I can see you. Yes, ma'am, I can. Did you, is, is everything okay? I don't know if there's any more video calls. I'll look into that for you guys. All right. So. Okay, Allie wants everybody to know she just checked. She wrote this in all caps, so she ain't playing with y'all. Just checked. By this time, the affidavit was out. They knew quite a lot. That's right. That's, wow. All right, so. Oh, it's going to be Aunt Brenda. All right. Now she going to say Yeah, and I don't have... I don't have any pregame notes because at the point where I was recording that one, uh, mm -hmm. I went downstairs and made something to eat. So I have no idea what we're in for here. Oh, but good. it's going to be almost 15 minutes. Too. Yeah, surprise Perfect. to you too. I'm going to go have a cigarette and it's going to be a surprise for all of us. Merry okay. Christmas, everybody. All right, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> okay. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. How you doing? Okay, I'll just call and see how you were. Fine, fine. I've just been busy a lot. I'm trying to do some work and trying to get, you know, get my work built up a little bit more because of this virus. They're not having any kind of court cases or anything. Uh -huh. So when they don't, so when they don't have cases, uh, that means I can't serve papers. Oh, I see. So I'm trying to, um, while that's going on, I'm trying to, do taxes, get my taxes ready, you know, and some other stuff. Trying to figure out some way to advertise when the court systems do come back up. Right. You know, I'm, I can start putting it out there, advertising and so forth. You know, websites and marketing myself some. Yeah, I got you. You okay? Yeah. You feeling that turtle thing? No. Good, good. You had me worried there for a while. Hey, mm -hmm. you're supposed to have they have they been to check you out? They're supposed to check you out. No. So I hear, so I, no, so I you go to court on the nineteenth. No, I haven't seen them. 
The doctor's had and checked you or nothing? Nobody's been here, Princess. I called you. No, I'm just asking a question, darling. Oh, the doctor <laughs> checking you has nothing to do with my mental state. That's just... I was just seeing if you can pass a test that a first grader can pass. Of course I can pass the test. The first grader can pass. Yeah, because I know you're supposed to go for another hearing on the 19th of January. Yeah. And I was I was kind of, you know, informed. Yeah. It, it, they thought the doctors were going to check you again before you went. Yeah, they did, but it's not about checking me for anything. It's just the doctor just come in here and ask you, do you know, like... Simple stuff. Do you know what? Yeah, uh, I know. I know. I'm, 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 yeah. Dumb stuff. Yeah. yeah I'm, 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 of course, I know it. You know. Well, I knew all that. I mean, I knew what the test was consisting of. I just didn't know if they had already done the shit or not. Yeah, I don't know why they keep doing that stupid stuff. I mean, I mean, my IQ is so high. I don't need to be ass when the grass is green on the other side. What does that mean? Mm -hmm. Of course, I know what that means. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I uh we've been get we've been getting a lot, a lot of rain. Oh, a yeah. lot of rain, baby. Yes, right. yes. That's not that's not Well, yeah, and you know what? And believe it or not, it's it's not it's just cold, it's not cold cold. Yeah. But it it's it's cold enough to wear a jacket or something. Yeah. But the weather is nice. Except for the rain. I mean, like I said, we've been getting a, quite a bit of rain, mm. but but the weather is still nice. You know what I mean? You're not flooding again, are you? Well, I kind of messed up side the house where Tommy's building was at the garage. Yeah, I did some work over there and not knowing nothing about leveling dirt and stuff like that. I kind of um, uh, flooded my neighbors. The, the road that goes back to my neighbor's house and stuff. I missed their road up, but I told me if they could just stay with it to rain stops and the weather gets back to norm, I was going to go ahead and just fix that, that road for them not to worry about it, just deal with it for the time being. Yeah. And I messed it up, I'm going to fix it. Yeah. You know, I messed it up, and yes, I fix it. Yeah. But they're just going to have to wait because I, that's why I messed it up, is because I tried to fix it. It, at a bad time, you didn't know it was going to be that bad of a time. Oh, okay, yeah. You know, I didn't know what, you know, so we didn't get to finish the work when we started it, and then the rain, and first one thing and another, so, you know, they kind of complained, and I said, hey, look, bear with me, I messed it up, I'll fix it, but you guys are going to have to wait to weather permit for me to get out there and fix it. Yeah, yeah. So, but work, that's you don't. Yeah, I already, yeah, I already made it worse, and I think I don't need to make it no worse than what it is. So um, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna fix it. I'm gonna fix it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have gravel hauled in and um, up to past Tommy's building, and that's as far as I'm going with the gravel. Yeah. You know, work floods and build it up. Yeah. And build the road up. And then it's going to flood on my side, I know. But when I build it up, I'm going to run a pipe from my side to the ditch over there to the neighbors cross, you know, furnish them right side the road, side yeah. the house. Yeah. Um, and, Linda, and run a pipe under the road there where it goes to the ditch and goes to the canal. I'm hoping that's what I can do. Yeah. But everything else is okay. Harley FaceTimed me the other day, checking on me. I told her I was doing okay. I was just busy working and stuff like that. Yeah. You yeah. know, and all. I'm trying to. Good. Like I was telling her, but are you eating okay? Mm, no. <laughs> I, some well, maybe. You, I can't eat half this stuff, ain't Brenda. It's not because I'm just like refusing to do it. It's just I can't. If I do, I'll be hurting, you know, my stomach and stuff. Because all it is is like yeah. that white stuff, you know, carbs and starches, and I can't eat that stuff. My stomach can't process it. <clears throat> yeah, you know what? That's the same problem I believe Harley's having too. Yeah. You guys went on that that kind of food thing yeah. at a young age, and she's the same way. And I told Harley, I said, Harley, you got to eat something besides that. You've got to eat vegetables, baby. You've got it. Harley's going to have to start eating some vegetables. 
Well, she she, she, she likes she reminds me of Daddy. You know, she, you know, she reminds me of Daddy Fred. Oh yeah. She eats chicken. She can eat chicken twenty four seven. Yeah. Yeah, because chicken is what is really good for you for like a lot of meals. When you eat healthy, you eat chicken with a lot of them. I know, but I told her, I said, baby, you can eat some, you can eat some, maybe some fish, maybe that you like, yeah. or something besides just chicken. Yeah. You know, eat, eat you a steak, maybe a little piece. You don't have to eat a lot, but a little bit wouldn't hurt. I doubt she's going to eat any steak. Steak's so hard to process in your stomach. It's hard to process. It's hard. I mean, I have a hard time. I don't eat steaks, but, you know, like I was trying to tell her, a little slump massage just chicken all the time. <laughs> but if that's what she likes and it don't bother her, I'm not going to, you know, chicken. sure out about it because Big Fred ate it all the time. He loves chicken now. He eats chicken all the time. Yeah. But anyway, but how's everything else, baby? Are you, you got plenty of money for pads and all that other stuff? Yeah, um, I didn't never get those books, so I was going to see if you check on the delivery. Oh, okay. I'll do that as soon as I hang those up. Yeah, 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 just to make sure they didn't, like, you know, something happened or something. Okay. Has anybody else sent you any books or anything? Yeah, well, not not, not any family, just some, um, I think one of the investigator people, she sent me one, and I read it, and then, um... This lady that um, I went to school with, she sent me one. Okay, I'll I'll, I'll check on those. Yeah. Sometimes you have to you have to um, give me a name because I'm I I know you like James Patterson and you like that other guy, but you I just need to keep you updated on those books, right? Pretty much. Why well, didn't the one the two names I gave you? I don't know. Did you order those or? Merry Christmas. I ordered one of them. Okay. I yeah. ordered one. So that's the one to Why do you have another one you'd rather have? Um, no, I just I just figured you should just check on it because sometimes with all this you know, craziness going on in the world, it could be delayed or rerouted or something, you know. Not only that, this virus has got the mail carrier and all of them pay. They're, they're behind on, on delivering stuff, too. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So but I'll, I'll check on it as soon as I hung up. I thought maybe you had them by now. I meant to ask Harley to tell you to ask you about them, if you've got them or not. So I might have done something, huh? But I didn't. None of us really have been getting a lot of stuff, and, like, people have seen it, so that's why we were wondering if, you know, like, had to be something or not, you know? Yeah, I mean, hey, there's a lady, she said she ordered me a Christmas gift, and she called me the other day. She said, did you get your present in? I said, no. (laughs) Good. Well, I don't know what, and a lot of people are still getting the little stuff, you know. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. Stuff, well, this virus in state of North Carolina is really bad around here. So now it got bad there. It's just bad here and in, in here, and then in in uh, California, every eight minutes somebody's dying. Oh my god! That was on the news the other day. I said to myself, "You've got to be kidding." They have nowhere to put the bodies in California right now. Oh, my God. I haven't heard the news today, but that I told you, baby, this virus, is, that's why I stay home on Harley. She said, well, I know who I'm around. I said, baby, it don't matter. You may know who you're around, but they know who them other people's around. Who, who are they around besides, you know, you? Yeah. Who are they around? I said, baby, wear, I have to stay on her. Wear your mask. Wash your hands. Be careful, Harley. Yeah. You know, if it's here in Robinson County, you know it's down there at the beach because everybody goes to the beach. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yep. You know, I mean, it's just, and I said, I said, Harley, I said, stay indoors as much as you can. I mean, I know you got to go to work, and I know you got to go do this and that and the other, but just don't do pleasure, a lot of pleasure stuff. You can't do it, Harley, with this virus. Yeah. I know I don't. I know. I, I love it. Hey, yeah, I mean, even Harley, they got to be careful. Even the kids is getting it now. Uh-huh. Even, even even small kids is getting it now. So, you know, it's not old people that's getting it. It's, it's young people. It's anybody. It's probably because all the different strands are being made now. You know what I mean? Like it's reproducing, yeah. mutating, mutating. That's the word. Yeah, mutating that's why I said. Strands that everybody's getting it now. 
Yeah. I, um, that's why I told somebody the other day I was supposed to went and had some surgery done. And I said, no, I'm not having my surgery done until I take that virus, that shot. And so this virus cut loose a little bit. Yeah. I'm not having it. And I said, it's a surgery that I don't have to have. It's not an emergency. If it was an emergency, it would be different. But I can postpone it. The doctor said, oh, yeah, you can postpone it. He said, you can postpone it if you want to. He said, if you're, I'd rather for you not to be nervous going up under anesthesia than be nervous and scared and we put you to sleep. Oh, yeah. I've had so I told him, it's crazy because hmm. your whole body stops, you know? Yeah, yeah. That's why I told him no mm-hmm. and stuff. But anyway, it, 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 everything's going to work out okay. Yeah. Yeah. You sound so good, baby. Oh, well, I just woke up. I finally got some sleep. I hadn't slept in a few days. I was, wish I was just there to wrap my arms around you and tell you I love you. And you already know that. I know. And I, know. I still like to tell you I love you. And, and stuff. You can think it's going to work. Things are going to work out, baby. It's got to work out. Oh, I know, Aunt Brenda. I mean, some days I know my mind is crazy. It's just stir crazy in here because I'm always you know, secluded from everything, you know, I don't get to touch people or, you know, not like that, talk to people or nothing, so it gets you stir crazy, you know, because you just sit there yeah. for 20-some hours a day and you don't get to have interaction with people, so you start going crazy, you know. Well, you know what, um, I have interactions, but it's mostly TVs, watching movies or reading a book or talking to my dog, but as far as people, people, nobody don't ever come you see me? I know, but with you, I think I don't even like to see the first thing on the TV or hear the first song, or I haven't even got to see anybody's face that I know. So to me, I know, I know, I know, I know. Exist, you know, I know, I know, I know exactly what you're saying. I know what you're saying. It's just got to be. That's why I just said, you know, it's it's, it's hard. I, what I was saying, it's it's hard on me not to have. People, people. You know, I know it's hard on you. That's what I was trying to say. Yeah, no, I know. I know it's hard on you. I don't want you to think I'm crazy because I'm not crazy. It just makes you go start crazy. I know you're not. Maybe I always made you weren't crazy. Now, Daddy Fred always said there was something wrong with you, but he never could figure it out. <laughs> you know, Papa's always said there was something wrong with you. Yeah, there's something wrong with that young man. You have one minute remaining. All right. Okay, I'm. A, I love you, darling. And and um, uh, um, you be careful, and I'll take care of the books for you and everything. Okay. And and if you need any money or anything, let me know ahead of yeah. time. Okay. All right, I'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye. I love you, darling. Love bye. You. bye. Well, <clears throat> dang, Aunt Brenda's got smoke for everybody on this call. She don't, you know, everybody. Oh my God, nobody's doing anything right according to Aunt B. And then she came in way too happy. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Ugh, go out and start again. You're way too chipper. Now, listen, uh, y'all, I don't know how these people do it. I don't know how they have read that affidavit. You know, they've read that affidavit. You know what I'm saying? I don't see how they couldn't have unless they're just purposely, intentionally avoiding it. I don't know. But I'm going to tell you right now, for me, what I don't, I, I wouldn't talk to her. That That's how I would handle it. My coping mechanism is avoidance. I just wouldn't talk to her. So I wouldn't have any of, I, there would be no catering from your girl here because she just wouldn't, I wouldn't talk to her. I don't know how they're doing it or why they're doing it, but I am interested and curious as to why. I would really like to actually talk to Amy Bolton and Aunt Brenda and not, I don't, I don't want to chastise Aunt Brenda. Like I, I have home training. I'll be polite, but I, I'm curious as to like what is going through their mind at this time. Like I want to interview them the way you know how like, um, like the sister wives how they do those interviews. How they're not they don't interview them at the time that it's going on. All they sh- they film everything right, and then they have the family sit down and watch it back. And then they interview them about what they're watching, about what their feelings were then. That's kind of how I'd like to do it with Aunt Brenda. I can be polite, Aunt Brenda. You don't got to be scared of Jen. 
I mean, I, I'll be I'll be polite. All right, what you got, Jen? I don't have much on the Brenda call, um, and uh, I don't know how much I have on the next call. Uh, I was eating the food that I had made during the Brenda call during this next Harley call. So I'm in it with you. Um, but the next call is 10 minutes with Harley and then definitely stop after that one because I want to, I want to say something about the other one before the next one, before we get into it. Yes, ma'am. All right. So we're going to play this next one. Um, yeah. I don't know the exact date that the affidavit was leaked. Jen, do you happen to know it? I happen to know that it was leaked on April the 2nd. Let me verify uh, that because now I want to say the 3rd of 2020. Um, uh, hold on just a second. We'll, we'll test my, we'll test my skills here. Okay. Yeah, Shelly. I I think I could do it on a live. What I would probably do, though, is um, not not tell Brenda how to, to how to look at the chat. <laughs> I don't know. I I'm just curious. I really, really, really want to know what they, you know, what were they thinking then, right? And now that everything has come out. And all of that, oh, Jennifer. I I want to, you know, I'm curious what they would think. What, babe? Oh, I just said, "Woo, Jennifer!" I kind of forgot I wasn't muted. <laughs> Was that my outside <laughs> voice? My bad. <laughs> uh, the affidavit detailed the allegations <laughs> against Letitia Stalk and the death of her stepson, whose body was found in Florida in March after he went missing from his Colorado Springs home on January 27th. The affidavit, which multiple Colorado news organizations were petitioning the court to release, was released on, I'm sorry, was leaked on April 2nd, 2020. There you go. So it's way been out at, by this point. I mean, for Pete's sake, she was arrested in March. Yeah. All right. Well, let's let's hear what O'Hara. Harley has to say it's going to be more about dogs and dreams and one upping. All right, here we go. Hi. Hello. Hey. Hey. What you doing? In the bathroom. What are you doing in the bathroom? In the bathroom. <laughs> no, I'm just messing with you. You okay? Yeah. What'd you do today? Um, went to work. Oh my gosh, you tell you what happened. Hold on. I'm gonna rewind it back, but I just had a thought, okay, that I wanted to share with the class before we go on because you guys know it will leave my brain. Um I so remember how you there are calls that are redacted and we keep being, you know, we keep going, like figuring out the timeline of the events, how, as you know, it's doing as it's going right. We, the, what's happening behind the scenes, i.e. the affidavit, et cetera. Right. I'm wondering if some of the calls that they're redacting with quote unquote personal information are potentially maybe something discussed about the case. That was my thought. And I knew if I didn't say it now, I would forget it. But I really, I'm kind of wondering about that because the one call where Amy Bolton, with the, there's a call, there's two calls with Amy Bolton. It, the first one is redacted. And then the second call picks up where they left off. And they were most definitely talking about her case because Amy starts the call out with, I was just trying to explain why you're in there, i.e. your charges. So I am thinking that some of these calls might be redacted due to the fact that, um, that there is, there are case details in there. What, what do you think, Jen? You're not muted by the way, babe. I... Oh, <laughs> I think that um, my dog snoring gets me <laughs> off of the live stream. So, 
That's oh, all I know. Okay. What am I you supposed to hear what I said? About? No, ma'am. Okay. I said, I wonder if, you know how we've been, how we're just told that the calls that are redacted contain personal information. I'm mm -hmm. now wondering if that quote unquote personal information has to do with details of the case. I don't think so. Um, the way that she put it to me was specifically with account numbers and things of that nature. But and why almost would Amy always, Bolton be, yeah. Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. Um, in in a lot of the calls, um, you know, using context from the other calls that either come before or after it, it seems like that's been the case so far. But I can specifically ask her: Do we have? Um, do do you want me to ask her why each of these were redacted? Um, Keeping in mind yeah. that she does become yeah. easily confused. Right. Maybe not. I was just thinking because of the Amy Bolton call. All right. I'm going to rewind it so we can hear this from the beginning and then I'm not going to interrupt it again. All okay. right. Oh, wait, I rounded it too much. Sorry. All right. Here we go. Bolton. <laughs> I'm just miss with you. you okay? Yeah. What'd you do today? Um, went to work. Oh my gosh, I need to tell you what happened. Hold on. So, I had to like um coordinate an event today because we did like Taco Tuesday for all, all of the um presidents and stuff. And it was so funny because I had to go talk to the business. Um, and I walked in there and it was so funny because I was talking to them at first. And I was like, yeah, I'm highly telling me I do like all of our marketing events and stuff. And it was so funny because they were just standing there listening to me at first, right? And then I was like, yeah, we're going to start doing this probably like every month with you guys. I look forward to it. And their whole like demeanor changed and they like stood up straight and like, it's like, oh my gosh, well, I'm the district manager. What's your name? This is my name. And they like had like total respect for me. That was so funny. You know, and they're like, we'll give you a discount every time. You're so nice. Like, thank you. It was so funny. I was like, oh, I like this. I feel like I'm in charge. Well, they probably didn't really work it until you could stay for free eventually. <laughs> I know, right? So you need to I, like, I know, right? It's funny. I was like, yeah, this is definitely my area. Yeah. Did you um did you straighten out your transunion thing? And honestly, no, I have no Hey, well, you have a lot of stuff that I've given you to do. You need to get on the ball. I know you got work going on, too, but so you're going to have to juggle it before school starts because there's a lot of stuff on that list, and one of them was that. Okay. Yeah. I just, I've had to, I've been working every day, again, and I've had to do all these letters for the school in order to get financial aid, and it's been crazy. Letters for school? I thought they already gave it to you. Yeah. Like, they did like I already submitted my FAFSA like forever ago, but now Coastal needed me to like um they needed me to write something um uh, in order to just verify as an independent student. Oh yeah yeah yeah. But you should be good, right? Yeah, I had to write something. CD had to write. Something. Okay. My lawyer had a right. Okay, cool. So it needed to be like a document for me, a document from someone close to me, and an official document or something. Right. I was like, okay. But I got that, and I I was able to get all that done because my lawyer finally answered me, and then I got all that paper turned on Monday, oh, so yesterday, and um. She said it's going to take five to ten business days, and then I should have an offer letter, and then I'll get my thoughts in February. Okay, cool. Maybe. Oh. Well, that's good. You spend, uh, you spend the stimulus already? No. Or not. <laughs> you better save my $70. <laughs> 
I did. I cashed out all the money and hid it for myself. Girl, why? If something would happen to the house, and it would be gone. Well, well, I guess you got renter's insurance, so. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. It's like I hit it. But see, I hope you wrote notes somewhere and hid them or put them on your phone where you hid your stuff at. Wait, what? I hope you put, like, notes on your phone or something where you hid the other stuff at. If you hid it from yourself, then you're not going to find it. Yeah, maybe I should have just put it in a different bank account and then left that card here. Instead of having cash. That would have been a lot better to do. Well, how Why don't you there? just go put it in that Bank of America account? I'm going to put it in my Chase account. Yeah, do it in something else. Because the Bank of America, I can't get a card or anything. Why not? You're 18 now. I can't get a card because the power of attorney isn't forever. It's only it's a limited amount of time. It says. Oh, so you can't get a card? Yeah, but, because but, like. But that account has like, your name. No, that account has your name on it. The Bank of America account. They can't tell you that. Oh, Bank of America. Yeah. I thought you said. I thought you said Wells Fargo. No, the Bank of America account has your name on it. So you don't need anything. Yeah, I'll probably just put it in my Chase account because I already have a card. Well, then just hide the card. That's probably what I'll do instead. But then I have the access to transfer money, so then it's bad. So like I can't have any access to it. Well, Maybe, I'm gonna do the cash. But, but you never had that huh? problem. You never had that problem. You always knew what you could do and couldn't do. So it's just all a mind thing for you. I know, I'm learning, I'm retraining my way. Well, honey, oh, I trained it for question. a long time. It could not went that bad. I know. Um, question, did I ever get a, I think my doctor said HPV, something with cancer in the uterus. Did I ever get a shot for that? So what happened was you got the first one, but never got the second one. Okay. Because I, um, cause I think I need it for school or something. So, I think I need it for school or something. Maybe not. Maybe that's not the one I need. School. I you can't get it now. I know. Like, well, no, my school said I need some shot. But when I was talking to my doctor, um, she she was asking me like she because like I they don't have my like doctor's records I don't think so they're asking me like oh we just want to make sure you got that shot and I was like oh no I have to ask my mom. You got the first one of the HPV thing, but you didn't get the follow up. I think there was like some secondary part you didn't get. It. Yeah, and I remember. I that. It, then they said it was too late. You had to do it at like twelve or thirteen, and by the time we went back, it was, they said it was too late. So, mm, so I probably would have to get both. They, I don't think they do them again. You can only get them at a certain age. They're probably talking about a TV oh, she shot. TV show. No, she said, she, no, she said that. Oh, well, maybe they do got something now. You can get them now. But I remember when you went back, they said no because it was too late. Because she told, me, she told me she was like, yeah, you should have got it when you were like 11 or 12. Yeah, you and I was did. like, yeah, well, my mom's always, I could have, I was like, well, my mom's always like, made sure I got all my shots. But I think I got it, but let me ask her. Yeah, you tell you got the first thing, but there's like some follow-up thing. And you didn't get it because by the time you were supposed to get it, they told me you were too old that you it was over age. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Because it took you back to the doctor. Uh, all your shot records were from the health department right there in Myrtle Beach. Yeah, because I tried I tried to go to them like a long time ago, but they don't accept transport try through it. Try to find yeah. so. Right. But now, because they, like, they have telehealth now, so you just literally can get on the computer and then they just pop up on the computer and you're like, hey, and she's like, hey, I've <laughs> got oh. your whatever thing on. Like, hello. Got you. Cool. All righty then. 
Did you get any messages for me? No. All right. Cool. I'm about to um. I'm going to call and see if my number is not activated. It's so me that it's activated, and I don't know why she wouldn't have gotten my messages. But maybe I need to pay to get a new phone number. No, you don't have to pay to do one. I don't know. Maybe it was just for the new I think, I think it's only one thing. No, it's all right. I just didn't know because usually pay right back or whatever, but. I didn't know if she'd got access to your new phone number or not because um, um, I, you hadn't heard anything on that new number. That's why I was wondering. Mm -hmm. then. Okay, it's all right. Okay, I'm gonna get off here and read the stuff. You never, you never told me any of the books that you wanted. I know. I tell you in a few days. Okay. I gotta get rid of the ones I have here. I gotta donate. Uh, donate, and I'm waiting on them to pick them up. That way, I don't have too many when you ship them. You see what I'm saying? So I'm just oh, waiting on them yeah. to pick up here of all the ones I have. Okay. Okay. Cool. All right. Love you so much. All right. Love you. Bye. 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 Jen, okay. did you get any messages for me? Yes. You did? No, I did not. I didn't. Uh, mm -mm. Oh, hold on. I've got an ad. Let me look. Don't look in the toilet. I'm telling I get my own so messages in the toilet. Yeah. Oh, I, that's the one place I didn't check. And I have two toilets here. Which toilet hmm. should I check? Both? <laughs> that's fancy. That's is. If you have two toilets, does that mean you have call waiting? Yes. I'm fancy AF. Think oh, he's up. Oh, sorry. We we made a joke. We're not supposed to be making jokes. I forgot. My bad. <laughs> um, oh. Kelly B, place to be. I. We, there are. Uh, we can get some from 2023, but not anything uh, from Kansas. They don't. Uh, they don't do that. Yeah. They don't share those calls. So the no. only calls that are open to the public from 2023 are the calls that she made between May and August from Denver Women's Correctional. Yes. Yes. Okay. So now give us give us the setup for this next call to inmate Heaven Taylor's mom. Okay. Yeah. So Heaven Taylor is another inmate, obviously. And um, someone who sounds a lot like Letitia but calls herself Taylor is about to call Heaven's mom. And Heaven's mom is a family member like we all wish Letitia had. So it's a real quick call. It's just two minutes and 46 seconds. Um, but Miss Taylor isn't taking any shit. And I love it. Oh. And and unfortunately, you know, whoever this woman is, you know, Heaven Taylor's mom. It's a Los Angeles phone number, by the way. Um, oh. But Heaven Taylor's mom um, has no idea that she's talking to, you know, a child killer. It's just, oh, you know, wow. some other jerk. It's just some other inmate at the jail, you know. And and be, and she said her, you know, Letitia says her name is Taylor. So Heaven's mom can't even look her up. Like, who do you have calling me now? Um, but yeah, oh, okay. uh, shout out to shout out to Ms. Taylor. I like her. Yes, shout out to. Okay, big ups. All right, here we go. Let's hear it, guys. Hello. Hi, yes. Can I speak with Ms. Taylor? Yeah, who is it? Hi. Hey, um, this is Taylor. Um, so uh, Heaven is like um, freaking out, anxiety. So she wanted me to call you. Oh my God! Look, um, where's Heaven? Where is she? Because I mean, she's gonna call you at five. She doesn't come out till five, but she wanted you to know so you wouldn't worry. But hold on, and tell her what? Okay, she said she comes out at five. So I'll let you know that, and she's gonna call you then. So I just I, call you. I, 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 I am, I'm, I am, this is just too much. 
This is too oh, much. I need to stop this. I did not. I, I cannot take this anymore. Heaven needs to stop. You know, I am working. I am busy. If I can't answer, she needs to understand that. I just told her several times she cannot keep doing that. You know, if I can't answer, it's because I am busy. Okay, she needs to know that. And she knows this. If I can't answer, it's because I am not able to answer okay. her. Okay, I didn't know that. I mean, no, she, needs, know. she knows this. I, I, I cannot. I, this is just too much. Okay. Heaven knows this. She knows this. She knows this. And it's like crazy. It's just completely crazy. Yeah, you know, if you if, if you don't answer, if if, if 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 I can't answer, she knows. Okay, but, well, my mom must be busy. She's working. I mean, I can't answer. Yeah, what is right. going on? <laughs> um, and she said uh-huh. about she said something about where you could you put money on her books. Um, tell her then. What what time she said she's gonna call? Five. I, I, and I told her, do not have people calling to do this and that. You know, this is too much. This is oh, too I much. Didn't know that. She didn't tell okay. Me. Yeah, I told her, do not have people calling. You know, when she she comes out, she calls. If I can't answer, I'm busy. And then, you know, when she does call, and if I'm able to answer, and you know, I can talk to her, then that's fine. But. When she comes out at five, it'll be six o'clock. No, it'll be five, four o'clock. Four o'clock there, yeah. Okay. My time, so therefore, okay. I think I'll to... be able to talk to her then. Okay, I'll try to talk to her about it. I didn't know any of that, so I apologize. I didn't know. She just told me, asked me to call you, so this is the first time I ever called yeah, you. Yeah, Heaven, Heaven needs to stop doing that. She needs to okay. stop doing that. She knows. Right. Okay, thank okay. you. Okay. Bye-bye. Yep. Bye-bye. Bye. Hello? Hey. Hi. What you doing? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh yes, I uh wow. Yes. And then she said it's t- then she asked who the, who is this? And Leticia says it's Taylor, which look looky here. Y'all now she we all know she's a lying liar face who tells lies, but you know that she says who she, when she's calling other people's family and friends. You know she's not going to give her real name because I don't, you know, I'm sure she's embarrassed. She should be embarrassed. I don't know what her, I don't know. Right, or and it's not because she's in a dissociative state. Exactly. It's none of that. Because if, if she were in a dissociative state, isn't Maria the one that usually handles the business? Right. Yeah. This, this you know, okay. Yeah, it's All an right, alias, we... not an altar. Correct. Um, I All just right, liked so... it because that was the closest that anybody's come to, you know, telling Letitia off. And, um, yes. and, and you know, Miss Taylor knew that the call was from the jail. She probably thought that was heaven calling. She answers yes. the phone and it's not heaven. You know, so Correct. it's not that she's avoiding her calls because she would have taken the call. You know, um, but heaven's driving her batshit and um, she's busy because she's working and she's not in jail. Heaven, give her a break. Right. Right. But um, I just wish that somebody would, you know, talk that way to To Letitia about Letitia's behavior. Yeah. Me too. Me too. I would talk to, I would address her as Taylor. And just read her for absolute filth. But yeah, I would call Letitia Taylor because obviously that's what she wants to be called. But then I would proceed to talk all the shit about Letitia to Letitia, a.k.a. Taylor. Right. All right. Let's play Harley. Um, okay. So, yeah, the next call with Harley is only uh, one minute long. Um, nope, that's not the one. So I don't have to tell you. Okay, so. We have a one minute and nine second call with Harley. And then we have a redacted four minute call with Amy Bolton where Letitia hung up. Mm -hmm. And then right after that, then we have two almost 15 minute long phone calls with Amy Bolton. And um, those are quite interesting. So I'm hoping that we can get through both of those calls and then start on Allie's channel 
with call 13 uh, tomorrow night. Um, yes. But yeah, that's that's all I have. So one minute from Harley, a redacted call from Amy, and then two more back-to-back -back calls from Amy Bolton. Okay, so this or is what two, we're going to do, Bolton. you guys. Okay, we're going to play call number 10, no interruptions with Harley. It'll go right into uh, call number 11, a little commentary, and then call 12. Sound like a plan? Yeah, because there's a lot of calls. Three of no. Yeah. No, we're, we're definitely going to have to stop between the Bolton calls. Yeah. Okay. All right. So everybody in the chat, we're going to be stopping between the Bolton calls. Okay. Here we go. Oh, no. <laughs> I needed you to play this song for me. You need me to what? Play part of the song. What song is it? Missing you, Mississippi. Um, I can't play it anyway. Oh All right. I'll let you go then. Finish your shower. Wait, can you call me back in like 10 minutes? Um, if I, I probably only got like 10 minutes left. It's okay. <laughs> Are you gonna you? Come, I play it for you tomorrow. So. Okay. You got to work tomorrow? No. Okay. All right. I'll talk to you tomorrow then, okay? Okay. I love okay. you. Love you too. Bye. Bye. Hey, I'm back. All right. Yeah. Anyway, what I was saying is it's going to be quite funny because he's still bisexual. <laughs> so I never knew that. Okay. So thank you. Back now, you're gonna put two and two together. I'm gonna walk you through it so you can see the sign. Do you remember oh, in Charleston? Okay, remember yeah. when I was freaking out and going through a lot, and I went to the hospital and he called you and told you like I had lost my mind or whatever. And yeah. he said, Do yeah. you remember that? Do you yeah. know that? Yeah, me and Harley traced your phone. We figured out the password and we found you through the phone. Oh, right, and I was at the hospital, right? In the parking lot. Yeah, you're at the hospital. Yeah. That was the first time I found out about the other guy <laughs> situation. You like walked in on him? A little bit something different than that. <laughs> but he played oh it down God. like there was this situation, like you know, it wasn't nothing. Then it happened again in Alaska. And the more and more it kept happening, I was like, wait, this is not adding up. This don't make any sense. Dude, don't do this. And so then I, what I did was, because I knew he could trace the tricare, what I did was I went through the one source instead. Because through the school district, you know how you can get like uh, so many um, like counseling things and stuff like that. Um, they gave mm -hmm. me ten. Okay, so Charleston County Schools gave us ten. I think it was. There might have been twenty, fifteen. I don't remember, but it's a certain number where you could have free like therapy to talk about it. I have all that where that was turned in and documented about it, and then the same thing was offered for when I was here, and so I used it here. Because I just was like, you know, so over him getting us involved and like the craziest shit that weren't even like necessary. And I was like, that's why I kept like going crazy, losing my mind. <laughs> yeah. And like, I mean, I even have proof where I ask him, hey, I really need to get some treatment or help. This is driving me nuts. This is all too much. And he was like, no, you have to be a baby. You have to babysit. <laughs> yeah. There's someone that could tell you about him. Yeah. yeah. That would well, Harley doesn't even think he was ever in Oklahoma. Like, even Harley doesn't think he ever went to Oklahoma. Yeah, she well, said there's no way he could have been back as fast as he was. And how do you get a trip that quick to the airport? And I don't know, like, even she doesn't believe he was ever in that Oklahoma. Yeah, there's a lot that, you know, I mean, I wouldn't be quiet about it if it wasn't tied to something big that could put Harley's life. I know. I know. And I but, well, the like, phone. the other thing, Landon... Lena didn't get custody of Lena. So now Lena is with him. So Lena's with this psychopath. And what if something happens to her? She'll get like, her back. She'll get her back. I promise. I know she will, but what if happens? What, you know how long your trial's taking? Your trial's taking forever. Yeah, but this like, should be the thing. Now, here's the thing you got to remember about her. She lied on the custody paperwork and talked shit about me and made up lies that didn't even make sense. So that's why. I wasn't too quick to help her. 
So I was that was way back in what, 2016? No, this was just when she filed for custody in Colorado. Oh, oh I got it. I okay. could read it to you verbatim. And it, she, gotcha. okay. she wrote in the paperwork, she wrote things like, I had called the kids retarded names, all kinds of stuff. And then like, okay, now I get you on custody, but you made up flat out lies right now. You know. Well, she said that, I mean, Harley said that she could, you know, tell people about how awful the person that is. But she's, Harley's like, just like I said, she's like afraid, like, she could say something and everyone just tries to twist her words like they did to you. She's like, she saw how everyone twisted your words. So Harley's like, I don't want that to be me. No. And you know, she's an 18 year old trying to make it on her own right now. She just got another job. It's like. Yeah. She doesn't. She need wants to, me to take chance. She doesn't need to say you. Um, she doesn't need to say anything. She's doing the right but thing. But I think she also wants to help Lena. She's like, I don't want Lena with him. I know what? it's not safe, but it's like, what do you do? <laughs> if the court is stupid enough to let her stay with him, that's on them. Yeah. Well, to be honest with you, I mean, he only got. The kids originally because of me. And there's because of you. I know that. He only got them because of you. So it's like. Everyone knows that. But. Something happens to her in his custody. So apparently that Heather girl broke up with him and now he's playing house with another family. Well, he's probably doing that because he doesn't want to pay babysitters. Well, yeah, that's what he did with you. You were his babysitter. <laughs> yeah, the bona fide babysitter. Except the difference was I did more than be a babysitter. I did it all. You know what I mean? And so that's the thing that, you know, but here's what you got to remember is he plays innocent like he doesn't know anything and he's clueless and, you know, all this. He knew. Oh, we all we all know that bullshit. He knew I was in a military town and he knew I was going to get hung up. <laughs> he knew that. So all he had to do was shut up and not act like he doesn't know anything. But that's okay, though. <laughs> Because it, you can only do that for so long before yeah. eventually, like if you pull something out that's in plain daylight and you show somebody on a video or something like that, what are they going to say? Oh, I don't know that individual. Or like he plays this card, like he doesn't know anything about Edgar. Yeah, right. What are you going to say when they pull out the photo of us with our wine tasting together? And he, he was with us in the Dominican in June. What is he going to say about that? <laughs> I mean, you it just know, seems you, like there's so much more to it than people know, and I know you can't say anything about it, but like I told Landon, I'm like, listen, I know the evidence points towards Tisha, but I just, I can never see her hurting anyone, let alone a ch child, let alone Gannon. She loved Gannon. Gannon was her favorite. And Landon's like, I know. She's like, it just, she's like, what the DA shows me and what the DA says is evidence that says she did it. She's like, but I can't figure out why it doesn't make sense. And I'm like, maybe that's because it's not true. Well, don't and you maybe, think that's what a DA is supposed to do? That's his job. It's supposed to tell, pick one person and go with it. That's but then, that's but you're job. like lying to this kid's mother. This, she lost her son and you're lying to her. You know, you know there what? could be other suspects out there. Well, there actually is, because one of the people involved is sitting here right now, and I lost him got put in a turtle suit over it. But you think they do anything about it? No. When they came to Myrtle Beach, Amy, I called them people in there, and I said, get me the DEA, get me some help, and I'll get you what you want. They come, walked out, came back. The DEA lady walked in there and sit down, and I plainly looked at her and said, are you going to offer me to help if I give it to you? And you know what she said to me? Oh, I don't think so. I don't know. So do you think I would not put Harley Hunt's life in danger if I weren't about to get some help for her, some protection? Uh -uh. No. But that's why I said I've been saying, like, I can hide Harley. I, I have ways to hide Harley, but it's like, who else is they going to go after that? They might come after me. I mean, we're not dealing. We were dealing with people involved in a cartel. I know. That's what I, I, could, I came <laughs> up with that a while ago. I already yeah. came up with that a long time ago. Yes. Al got himself into some bullshit. And they wanted us to funnel money 
and I dropped one of the darn things. And when I dropped it, I realized there was money in there. And I freaked out because I had already gotten to Florida and was like, my exact words, excuse my French, what the fuck, this is not going to be me. That's exactly. You're not the one that got into it. Al? No, because he wanted somebody to beat Mike up. I knew the people. We met them. They went on a couple of cruises with us. Yeah, we were gambling, but all of it was legal on cruises. Oklahoma, which yeah. was some of our last, we were in the, everybody knew I was Native American, so they knew I could get on casinos and blend in, and they tried to funnel money through casinos, but I didn't know all that stuff. If I would have knew all of that, do you think I would have been friends with these people? I didn't know anybody called them, though. so what else was I supposed to do? You know what I mean? Yeah, I wouldn't know yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, remember how it was when I dated tribes? I didn't know he was a drug addict. <laughs> I didn't know for a year. We learned. We learned of that real quick. Exactly. That's my point. Like, what like, you sitting on my neighbor's porch watching you? And they were home. What the fuck? That's what I'm saying. I didn't know that. If I would have known that, do you think I would have ever been involved with keep covered? Oh, no, you never would have brought him to my house. Exactly. Or Harley. <laughs> but that's my point. Mm-hmm. So my point was... I get to Colorado. I don't know a lot of people. You know, oh, these cool people are cool. Oh, he makes a joke about somebody going to go beat up Mike. He sweated Mike so much. It was like, you're really, you're really about to pay somebody to beat up Mike? And I was like, nah, man, I'm going to have to turn this in. And I was kidding about it because I thought he was kidding. No, he was dead ass serious. He wanted somebody to like. Why did he want somebody to beat up Mike, though? <sighs> because you want to know the truth? Gannon, Mike didn't have anything to do with it. But Gannon loved Mike. Oh, and so to him his stories were always about something I took him to do or something Mike or my mom yeah. you see what I'm saying so that's that well, jealous what rage he, like, all right, what, are, what does Al expect he was never there yeah. he was never home of course the stories are going to be about everything Jim's going to tell stories about playing soccer with me on the beach I mean, yeah, but that's the thing. It's like, and then if I mentioned anything, it was, I was in cahoots with Landon. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I can see it, like if I would have came to him with that video I recorded of Gannon begging me to go back and live in South Carolina with his mom and Nina. <laughs> you know, like how... Yeah, Landon said, she said something about Gannon around Christmas, so Christmas. 2020, she mm-hmm. said, like, he was going up the airplane tunnel or whatever, and he was like, Mom, I don't want to go with Daddy. And she said it was just something weird, and she she feels like she should have caught on to it at that time or something. And, like, it's her own, it's her fault, she thinks. No, but, I mean, I was calling her that Wednesday to talk to her about it, but I was waiting until everything got, you know, loaded up, everything, and I was going to hand her over evidence on a silver platter. Here, you want your kids? I'm leaving. Here it is. I got a flight attendant job. Here's your evidence. Do you think I don't wish I hadn't given that to her the Wednesday before? <laughs> you know. Well, I, mean? I also think you you were gonna leave Colorado. You right. only stayed to watch the kids because you had to randomly go to Oklahoma. That's the message. Other than that, you would have been out of you would have been out of Colorado. No, I mean, Dee can verify you, that. You were gonna leave. All the text messages back and forth to me and Dee. Radidi was like, and me, you told me, you said yeah. you're getting, yeah, and you said you were getting out and you found a place to live. And I even told the Sam, only reason you Sam was the one he had to me. go to, yeah, I even told Sam, Sam was the one who helped me because she was the one who helped me get the air, airline job and everything. And I was going to be teaching online and working at the airline. And sure, it had been a little tough at first till we got adjusted, but right. it would have been fine, yeah, you know, and so. It's just crazy, like literally a matter of three days difference, and your whole life would be different right now. Yeah. It's, it's, me. it's not right. Trust it's me. not fair. And, like, and well, you're never going to get this time back. So in the end, when they're like, man, we're sorry. Yeah. I want people to understand nothing, it. You're never going to get this time back. They keep looking at certain situations like, oh, a fire. Do you not get that he was doing that because he was wanting me to call his mother sooner? Like, does that not, like, go on people's brains? 
you think it didn't go in mine? You think I didn't like realize like, okay, there was a fire set on purpose to call your mother sooner because you knew I was leaving and packing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I have to live with this every single day of being like, the plan was in play to call Wednesday. As soon did as you, everything did was you gone. Know that, did you know that he or anybody was going to hurt Gannon? No. Uh-uh. I didn't know anything like that. You never knew that was part of Al's invention? No, I knew that somebody was following us. I knew what was going on in West Palm Beach. I knew knew what was going on when I walked out on Carrie Meadows and saw the car. I mean, I knew, like, certain things. You have one minute remaining. I mean, I didn't, you know, I just, you know, just kept saying to myself, like, in my mind, I kept thinking, and this sounds crazy, but I thought if anybody would hurt anybody, it would have been one of the girls. You know what I mean? So I became super protective you. over them more so than anything. You know what I mean? Just because I was thinking, like, people do bad things. I wonder if, like, they hurt Gannon on accident or something. (sighs) Well, you know, the crazy thing is... I mean, I know it'll all... I know it'll all come out. out. It's like, I'm just just, afraid something's going to happen to Lena between now and then. I know. But here's the thing, remember, if I snitch people out right now, it will. It would happen to if you want. anyone. If I become a snitch and I don't do it the right way, it is a dangerous muddy water. You're not dealing with little flunkies here in town. Thank you for using Global Telling. Hey. I- yeah, see what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, first of all, the logic here is faulty as I'll get out to me. We're if if y'all have missed any of the calls, um, we all three. Well, let me not lie. We all we all two, so not me, have um, playlists <laughs> on the channels so that you guys can listen to them back in order. But the, what Letitia is talking about here, first of all, makes no effing sense. It's ridiculous on its face. But when she's talking about Florida, she's going back to the, um, I keep wanting to say tchotchkes, but th- she's not. She's talking about these figurines. She's talking about an episode from freaking Lost. That's what she's talking about, where they smuggle drugs and money inside of these figurines, well, drugs inside the figurines. Okay. Why she felt like she needed um, to... Um, to to make up that story about Al and his, you know, preference is ridiculous. She did it, be, in my opinion, I think she did it because <clears throat> she just likes running his name through the dirt, period. Yeah, you know? absolutely. Um, and, <clears throat> and Albert would be um, incredibly pissed off to know that that was being said. Um, you know, it's clear how Aunt Katrina feels about certain things. It's clear how Albert feels about certain things. And those are the things that Letitia goes for. You know what I mean? Um, Correct. And let me just and, state, let me just interrupt you just really quick, Jen. Let me just state, to, to, say, to, to, to say something about somebody is, to call anybody bisexual is not, uh, is not an insult. Okay, in my opinion. Right. However, the way that Letitia's doing it, she is intending it to be an insult, which makes it actually worse if it could possibly be worse. Um, okay, now what were you gonna say, Jen? Sorry, I just want to make that clear <laughs> that I don't find people's sexuality to be fodder for insult, but you know, because you know how it gets on the streets, you got to be very clear. Yeah, I agree. So my notes are kind of all over the place. I'm just going to go through them real quick. So Harley is trying to get Amy to take chance. Albert is allegedly bisexual, which when she was explaining it to Amy, somehow became a story about how Letitia lost her mind in Charleston. 
Now, I believe that right. Letitia losing her mind in Charleston and Amy and Harley and Albert tracking her down at the hospital is the story that we heard while we were at trial. Uh, That's when, what I was um, thinking. Isn't yeah, that in Alaska yes, though? It's, it's one in the same. Well, uh, here she says it was in Charleston. So I, I don't know. I don't remember it being in Alaska. I was actually thinking it was in uh, South Carolina, but um, but Myrtle Beach, not Charleston. Um, uh, we, we see that Amy is willing to hide Harley from the cartel, even if it puts her life in danger. Amy. Oh, um, I mean, let's I'm, all do I'm a slow clap. Say it. I'm not going to say guess. it. <laughs> a very slow clap. Um, very. Oh, and. Okay, wait. Okay, so Edgar was with them, them being Albert and Letitia. And I believe the kids, I think the kids went with them on the trip to the Dominican in June of 2019. So now according to Le Letitia, Edgar, which is who she's claiming, you know, Albert knows real well. Uh, Edgar was with them in the Dominican in June of 2019. Uh, they were also in Miami in December, uh, on December 26th, when Letitia was there, they were also in Florida in 2020 during the anniversary cruise. So, um, and there are pictures together at a wine tasting on the cruise. Now, remember, Letitia claims that Albert tried to poison her wine on that cruise. Yeah. Yes. Um, and one of them, quote unquote, them is in the jail with her, which is how I know she's talking about Edgar, right? Right. Because exactly. she didn't drop his name, but she made it very clear that she was, you know, and then her, Letitia's uh, explanation, I'm using that word very loosely, um, Letitia's explanation of how Albert got himself caught up with the cartel is because he wanted to find somebody who would beat up Mike Hyatt, Landon's husband. And, and Albert That's got involved. One. Yeah, Albert got involved with the cartel because he was looking for someone to beat Mike up. And, and then she, you know, of course there was, you know, she, she talked real fast about her being able to, uh, she didn't say launder money. I mean, the word she meant was launder. What did she say? Funnel. She said that she was able to funnel, funnel money and they thought she could do it on the casino at the res because she was lying about her heritage. Um, and then she talked about the figurines and finding the money was inside of one of them. And um, we, oh God, um, the, the thing that caught my attention the most out of all that nonsense, other than wondering if 180 is the IQ of these two combined, which I doubt. Um, <laughs> when she said Gannon set the fire on purpose to get to his mom sooner. So now Letitia says, not only did he set the fire on purpose, even though, you know, she made the video making him swear it wasn't on purpose and Correct. You know, all, all this other stuff. So now her explanation a year later is Gannon set the fire on purpose to get back to his mother because the plan was already in motion. It was already in play. And, and that four days would have made the difference between Gannon still being alive, Letitia not being in jail, um, all of it, because the plan was in place to get the kids to Landon so that Letitia and Harley could leave Albert. And Gannon set the fire because yes. he couldn't wait until Wednesday. All I can think right now, and I can't tell you how many times today I've thought about this. You know, I was in Colorado Springs for a good portion of the years that Letitia was in the county jail there in, in El Paso County. Uh, I, was, I was there for a good amount of time. 
Now, I did end up going down to Durango and doing some red wine stuff and managing a motel, but I was still, you know, I just, I wasn't physically present in El Paso County for a little while. Anyway, so many times while I was there, I would think about finding a way that I could get myself arrested without doing harm to another human being, right? Like, I'm not gonna, you know, like what, what could get me thrown in jail where I don't, you know, where I'm not in trouble so much that I can't get out of it, but also doing no harm to another human being because that's not my style. Um, don't pay a ticket, get, get a ticket and don't pay it. Right, but that would take too long. I don't know, I thought about it. I thought about all kinds of things. Um, you know, and listen, uh, the FBI, um, plenty of plenty of agencies put people in jail all the time who are there to spy. I mean, um, it happens That's a true. lot. It, it, I even thought about reaching out to them, but I was like, no, 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 you've taken it too far. Get back that's to your way book. too far. That's like that's yeah, way that's too like far. Too, that's way too far. Too far. <laughs> way too far. Too I did far. not do that. I did not. I did not do that. But the thought did cross my mind. But I think about all the times where I thought about, you know, just getting tossed into the El Paso County Jail. Um, and today that was on my mind a lot. Like you know, uh, I should have. I should have done it. You should sign up for uh, 90 days in or 60 days in. That's what you should have done. <laughs> right. You oh. know, 60 days in and then you would have been, then you would have have, have been oh. in there, but they would have been monitoring you. And if it ever got too much, you could just, whatever they tell you the secret sign is, you could just do that and they just come in and get you. I mean, I had an idea that this was, this was what it was like because of things like the crime online articles and yeah. you know when when and she put edgar's name in the in the press and made it clear that it was a code name you know i didn't yes. have to see the fbi interview to know that she was trying to you know become like a you know state's witness against somebody else correct oh well, she's god just and clearly up to no good and what and i want to say this really quickly before i forget one of the other shows that leticia liked to watch is good girls Good now, girls, Alex, right. Allie has been telling me forever to watch that show. So I started watching it. And if y'all haven't watched it, you should watch it. It's actually a really good show. And it actually sort of um, um, it actually puts some of these stories that Letitia comes out with in perspective. Like she cannot even she is not creative enough to come up with her own plot now she must borrow plots from uh, from shows it's right. really um ridiculous and <clears throat> that's part of where this comes from some of these stories but i can't help but circle back to the fire situation because i recall saying months ago that i believe that her and one of her plans was to say that Gannon set that um, set that fire on purpose, and that what she intended to do was a be the hero from rescuing him from the fire, mm -hmm. but also b proving to Al that Gannon is dangerous because that's what she was trying to do with that stupid knife story. Exactly. And here it is now. Now it's come out. Now she's bl blaming Gannon for the fire. Yeah, he, he set the fire on purpose. Yes. <sighs> ridiculous. This is all, all ridiculous, you guys. And it's so infuriating to hear because, but I'm glad we're listening to it. Because can you imagine, this is all the shenanigans that she was pulling. And the first of all, Letitia, I know how, you know, you've got an IQ of 180 and I'm over here with my good enough diploma. But a DA's job is not to just blame it on somebody, okay? The, DA, the DA's job is to prosecute the person for the crime. But before the person is prosecuted for that crime, there's like 15 to 20 steps where the prosecutor must prove to the judge that he, ha he or she has the right person charged with the correct crime. Shut up, Letitia. 
You don't know what you're talking about at all. Nobody pinned this on you. You aren't being persecuted. You're not wrongfully convicted. You did it. You know you did it. And we know you did it too. Yeah, I um, I just have one one more thought before the final call. And, okay. you know, I know that I've been kind of bagging on the intelligence of Letitia's friends, right? And, uh -huh. but it, oh, make, but it makes noticed. sense. <laughs> right. Um, <laughs> it, but it makes sense because somebody like Letitia does not surround herself with intelligent people because she would take that as her feeling stupid and she can't do that. She'd rather fake it than act than like, she would, she would rather fake her intelligence rather than be around actually intelligent people and actually become more intelligent um, by going in this direction. No, she wants to surround herself with people who are not as intelligent as she is. And then she's at the top. Um, the right. problem with that, um, the, the, the problem with that is that she never gets any smarter that way. If you're always the smartest, the, if you're always the smartest person in the room, you're never learning anything. So that's 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 a problem um, until it isn't. So I'm actually grateful for that because Letitia surrounding herself with people who are missing uh, some wattage. Okay, um, because of that. We got what we had on March 2nd of 2020 with Agent Grusing. We had right. Letitia believing that she could pull this on someone who is a seasoned member of the FBI and also a highly intelligent human being. Right. See, she really Letitia, thought she was going right. to get one over on our special agent Grusing. Former. She did. Now retired. She did. So, so I say all that to say as much as I'm bagging on the intelligence of Letitia's friends, Thank you. Thank you uh, for making her believe that she was smart enough to pull this off because she wasn't. And that's why she got caught. And uh, exactly. had she actually been around some scholars and learned how to spell or whatever, uh, maybe she would have gotten away with it for a little bit longer than she did. So, you know, yep. on one hand, I'm bagging on their intelligence. On the other hand, I'm super grateful for the level of it. Okay, that's all. Awesome. Right. Oh, thank you, Karen, for being a member for a month. I appreciate that, babe. All right. This is the last call for tonight. Um, and um, this is the last call for tonight. And then we're going to play. Uh, and then we'll be having part two on Alex Erickson's channel. All right, so I understand that call number 12 is also a doozy. So please brace yourselves, here we go. Yeah, I had a few dollars left on here. Um, I was like, hey, you don't have to call me back. Like, I have money on my account. The oh, dogs okay. are outside barking like idiots. It's okay. Um, yeah, so like, like, that's the thing you have to be strategic about because they didn't offer us any help originally so so if you say anything harley could be a danger and a lot of people would nobody be. wants that even his dumb ass would be <laughs> but see he i mean knows, do we care about that though, he knows to be honest? i'm going to be careful about saying certain things because how much i love the girls he knows that <laughs> so he knows i'm not stupid when it comes to that he knows that so it could about be like lena like lena we should we worry about lena too and not just harley just put it like this I've got a threatening note in my food that threatened all three of them. <laughs> so, is that from that new person that's in jail? No, this is prior to that. That was one of the people in the runner. Like, it was a runner. That's what they call them, a runner. But, um, this, you know, everybody knows HT. You know, they know. You know. I mean, the thing is, in here, they don't have a lot of people in here the civilians in here. And so some of them are actually like, a lot of them got my back because they, they look out for me in here. Um, they make sure I get stuff I need or extra food and stuff like that when I need it. They send me stuff, you know, that type of thing. You don't even eat anyway half the time. I know, but they do they do take care of me secretively, but they, they make sure a lot of them look out for me. And, um, and I hope you look out for that when you get out. 
and you oh, I will. help you. I will. If make I had to make sure you those, spend time like helping people in prison that deserve I'm gonna start it. start a prison buddy program. But yeah, so oh, they man. do they they do a good job over their their moms. Um, a couple of them's moms do a good job helping me out with certain things, but it's mostly the dudes. Um, because once the the couple of the dudes found out who the certain people were, they knew. They were like, "Well, we we commend you for not being a snitch." And so they were like, "We got you back." You know, they they did nothing but good things. You have to be a snitch if you want to save everybody. Right, but you can't do it right now. You have to do it to save yourself. <laughs> you save yourself, and then you leave. You're able to protect your family. But if you do it right now and you're here, how do you protect anybody? <sighs> you see what I'm saying? We do it. You tell us. We'll Girl, you out. might be thinking that, but that these people found me in Miami, Florida, knew I had already went there, and was waiting on me at the airport December 26. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And <sighs> my luggage was missing because they took two pieces of luggage, and Albert was on the phone with me calling American Airlines like, we're trying to find our luggage, trying to find our luggage, as I'm getting taken away. But he knew the whole time who took it. He knew the whole thing. Of course he knew. What's wrong with him? Well, because he he was played into it. He was, obviously, he was trying to cover it up. I was getting taken hostage. (sighs) I can't handle him. Like, I just... Of course he knew. I I so much want to punch him. I hate Greg, my ex-fiance, but I hate Al more, I feel like. Before he left to go to Oklahoma, his exact words to me were, you know where all the weapons are stored, right? You know where this is at. You know where that's at. I'm like, dude, I don't, I don't even really know much about weapons. Like, are you dead serious right now saying this to me? Do you think he even went to Oklahoma? Because Harley doesn't think he ever went. If he did, he literally touched down and got back in there. I mean, that's what she said. She said that he got back so quickly, and then they tried to say something about Chick Fil A, but Harley's like, me and Lena picked up Chick Fil A. And then your neighbor tries to say that she walked in your guys' house and saw Al loading a gun. Your neighbor, she never said her name on the, like, interview, but she said it's Gannon's best friend's mom. She mm-hmm. said she had walked in your house and you were eating Chick-fil-A at the table. That Lena and Harley are the ones who picked up Chick-fil-A. And then Lena and Harley went with her to go look for Gannon that night. But she said when she walked in, oh, Al was loading it up. I know who she is. And a matter of fact, she could be a good, per- a, good, a good person to help, but she's probably terrified. I know exactly who she is. She's still trying to say that you did it, though. She's trying to say no, he was she's... already dead. And, and then Al, she said, I saw him load the gun. He went and shot him after he was dead. Who did? That's the lady saying Al went and shot Gannon after he was already dead. Well, I'm not going to comment Whoever on that. that, whoever the child's best friend, Gannon's best friend's mom or something. But she also did like an hour and a half long interview that has had so much media attention. So, you, you know, she got paid a pretty penny for that. So it's like, how much can you really believe? But she literally, and it says she walked into your guys' house, you were eating Chick-fil-A at the table, and I was loading a gun. Wow, people do do make stuff up, don't they, to get um, the media? That's well, stupid. Well, that's what I said. I was like, man, she got a lot of a lot of publicity with this. I'm like, she probably made a pretty penny. Mm. But then in it, she still said, she said in it, she's like, I still believe TJ killed him, and then Al went and shot him after his body was already dead. But like, really, lady? Like, considering he's the why, why would Al go shoot a dead body? That doesn't. I don't know. You know what? It's so crazy. That right there backs up everything, and I can't say why, but it will. <laughs> I'm glad you showed me that. Yeah, wow. yeah. It's some whoever and whoever Gannon's best friend. She says Gannon's best friend. She also says she has like three boys. I think. I know exactly Maybe. who she is. I'm sure you know who it is. It's Connor's mom. She said that night Harley, Lena, and her, her went out looking together. So Harley left and went with her. It's Connor's mom. I know exactly who it is. And you know the crazy thing about it? Yep. She, probably, she probably was in a culture shock, but she's got pretty much half of it right, but she ain't even got all of it. You know what I'm saying? But she probably made it her, you know, what she thought and, like, helped her money call. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I guarantee she got money for this because it went viral, dude. It was crazy. And, I, and it was, like, I literally had to sit there. I sat there on my planning one day. It was an hour and a half long listening to this whole thing that lady said. 
just some of the stuff she said contradicted herself, and some of the stuff didn't even have anything to do with Gannon. But she also tried to say, like, that when Gannon would come to her house, he would be so excited to be a kid and run and jump on furniture because in your guys' house, it was, no, everything's perfect. You don't jump on furniture. You don't run in the house. You don't do all this. So and like, <laughs> And she so also what? said that she one day she walked in and you guys had dogs and she couldn't believe you had dogs because dogs are dirty and you would never have dogs in your house. <laughs> That's what oh, this lady yeah. said. I'm telling you, this whole, it was, if you can get your hands on it somehow, I don't know how. You ever have any internet? Ask. Because well, it's an hour and a half long. And I, you want me to tell you, like, the thing about this, funny thing about this? All right. So she would always try to, like, if I had something going on at school, because she worked for the school district, too, she would try to go and, like, have Albert meet her somewhere separate. And I'll always laugh about it, because she walks in like a cane. And so she'd always say, she's hitting on you, she's hitting on you. And like, we'd all laugh about it. Like, we would literally joke about this. So that is so funny that you say that because, of course, I don't let people jump on furniture. Guess what? That's not how you do it. That's not how I was raised. You don't run around act a fool in people's house. You just don't. You want to act a fool? Yeah. Maybe you should jump on your bed. Jump on well, your I bed. know. You've never been like that. I mean, but they still have fun as kids. We still, yeah. I have videos of us playing soccer in my living room. Remember, like, we were playing Ian Courtney yeah. and Harley playing soccer in the living room and we played cards. Yeah, like, like all we had stuff, fun. Yeah. It was so, she said that when they come to their house, they have Nerf guns, and you're not allowed to have Nerf guns at your house. What? What is she talking about? I don't know. I, don't know. I got. But, dude, Nerf guns are the best. She tried to say he gets so excited he for Nerf got one. He, he, got, he got one that. Uh, for two. Business and it was the kind that you pull back like a little shoot thing, the ball shoots out like football. And matter of fact, that's on Amazon because that's where we bought it. See, this is dumb stuff that people don't even know. So and her name's what? Connie? Or Connor's yeah. the kid. Connor's the kid, yeah. That's so funny. It's funny because what like, does I've been to wanting to like reach out to her and say some shit, but I don't even know who she is because she's anonymous in the phone call and they yeah. change her voice so you don't know her real voice. It's always a different tone. Yeah. But yeah. she goes through all this stuff, acts like she knows you guys, like, perfectly. No. I'm just wondering. I want to ask her, how much money did you... If that was the case, you should ask her, why did she let her son go to the baseball game with us then? The Colorado Rockies, who I was yep. going okay. to care There was a baseball game. Yep. She <laughs> mentioned the baseball game. Yeah. yeah, so since we didn't ever do anything, right. why did she let her son... Oh. Her son came to our house all the time. Why? Yeah. And she said Gannon came there all the time. So, I mean, and if you were that concerned, he wouldn't have came over to our house. Yeah, she started going, yeah. It's just, it, she seems sketchy, like, I don't know. The, she used to have, the way she worded everything was she like. She used to have a bad drug problem, right? And now she works for the school district as, like, the cafeteria lady or something for Whitefield School District 3. First I don't, okay, I thought she said she worked for schools with children yeah. and. Some yeah, people shouldn't be working with children. I feel like she was hinting at you, but I'm like... The cafeteria, that's where she works. No, <laughs> well, I've seen well, hey, I mean, They would never say that. You could line them all up, and they'd all be like, oh my gosh, she was our best teacher ever. So, okay, whatever. <laughs> like I Yeah, know. like, mine loves me, too. Like, I, I might be tough on my kids, but they know that I know what I'm doing, and that I'm doing it because it's better for them. Yeah, I mean, but, I'm tough but, on them, and I'll tell them how the real world is. That's the thing you have to think about. If they get coddled, that's where they end up not knowing how to do things when they get older. You yeah. see what I'm saying? And I, like, yeah, and I think at the time I'm, I'm with them, they're mad at me. But when they get older, they come back to me. Like, I've had so many come right. back to like, I never realized it in the film, but yeah. the way you raised me, it really shaped me for high school. And, like, and, I'm, and like, I've had so many emails. I, have, I got an email this year from one of my seniors that I taught first year at the middle school, graduating this year, and just sent me an email about how they remember me and I'm the one that helped them. And like, it's like, is this lady would, they we, they went to a new school and changed schools, right? So that lady, we didn't, he, she didn't even come around for like six or eight months. We had to hunt him down. So there was only like a little bit of time frame in there. He claims Gannon and him were best friends and that they became best friends the first day of school. 
And but then he went to a new school. That, no, she didn't say anything about a new school. Yeah, Gannon went to a new school. Gannon went to a new school in fifth grade. Yeah. So they never said anything school. about that. Said that it was just so sad to see him come to their house and act like a real kid. And he didn't know what acting like a real kid was because at his house, the rules were too too steep that he couldn't be a kid. And, oh, the, here's the best part. Harley's room was this beautiful, amazing room. And Lena and Gannon just had a bed, not even a bed frame. <laughs> That's a lie. Yeah. She, no, she, you need to ask someone at the jail to let you listen to this. That's a lie. It's, they ball all it's an hour and a half long. I mean, it's not like you have anything better to do. Oh, my God. They had also, everyone had TVs in the room, dressers. The yeah, she did say her. that. She said he had a TV and a bed, and that's it. But if you look at Harley, she's got lights and pictures and all. Harley's she's room done is that beautiful. Balled well, she done that ball it. So what does that yeah. do to Well, in this interview, she says all this about Harley. And says Lena and Gannon had nothing. What well, Gannon just had a bed and a TV, and that's it. Shit. I, when I was a kid, I didn't have a damn TV. This is like, this is hilarious because you know what's so funny about that? There's video footage of that and of the house. Trust me. These kids were well taken care of. You, what kids, you know, went to school what with Venus Bind Of course, Harley decorated her room. She's a teenage girl that was older. No. Put up some damn lights, try some stupid pictures. I mean, they went to school with vineyard vines on. Fairies. Come on now. Like, yeah. I'm talking about vineyard vines, $40 shirts they went to school with. She's just trying to say you took care of Harley better than the other kids. That's what she says in this case. Harley also got a social security check from her father who did. And Harley also had a job. Yes. <laughs> and we got no child support. No child support. Yeah, no. What about that? Is she, yeah. Considering here, Wait, you didn't get child support there. from Landon. No, we never got a diamond child support ever. She gave us one hundred dollars the one time we took everybody to Colorado. This is Rocky's game, and that's it. You have one minute remaining. I'm about to have to go in, but yes, yeah, so some craziness, man. But anyway, I just laugh at this. Well, yeah, this you so funny. If, you, if you wanted you to tell us so much about the truth, why you got to hide anonymously? Then <laughs> everybody can figure. Who you are? I know who that is. No, it was actually his Harley husband. said. Harley Sorry. said she knows who it is, but Harley's like, I'm not saying a word. Yeah, yeah, that's funny because because you should remind the lady next time she says something, say, Oh, well, I thought he went to a different school in fifth grade. How many times did they hang out once he went to a different school in fifth grade when the new school opened? Once every like six, eight weeks. So you know so much. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Well, if you know, if you can get your hands on the internet. Try and check it out. All right. All right. I'll talk to you later, girl. Love you, girl. All right. All right love you. So, Harley, I love her. I tried her and couldn't get her a couple of times. Thank you for using Global Telling. I was looking forward to that one minute warning so much. I, I'm, I'm ready. I am definitely ready to be done with the uh, calls for today after yeah. what's it been? It was six hours at eight. Now it's 1045. Um, I mean, I'm no scholar, but I think that equals a shitload eight, of hours of Letitia. Hours, six hours and we've been on for two hours and 44 minutes. So that's like eight hours of I know. Letitia land. I know. So I just want to say, that, um, you know, it's not a public service announcement or anything, but I mean, yeah, I get it. Drugs are bad, right? Um, but so is the fact that these two scholars are having this conversation sober. That's also very yes. bad. <laughs> I mean, uh, the things yeah. that they're trying to, the things that, this is what I don't understand about Amy, and I would actually really like to ask Amy Bolton these questions. I, I, I understand. I don't understand. Excuse me. Um, it's one thing to listen to Letitia, right? Like when she's talking about the Volturi and, and all of her other nonsense. Okay, it's quite another to feed into mm -hmm. the nonsense. 
So what I don't understand is how come when she was, why come when she was talking about the Volturi and eating season and, and all the other things, um, mm -hmm. Amy was just like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but now that she's talking about this kind of stuff, all of a sudden Letitia has credibility and Letitia is telling the truth. And oh, by Absolutely. the way, let me throw some digs too. Right. I, I wrote down an exact quote from Miss Amy. And the quote is, what the fuck's wrong with him? And she was talking about Albert, but she was talking to someone who already explained to her the J group. And she oh, and, and Amy wants to know what the fuck is wrong with Albert. Right. And something oh. that happened in the other in the previous call that I forgot to address is the whole Al not being in Oklahoma. OK. Which is preposterous. Yeah. All right. Because by this point in the investigation, they've in the beginning phases of the investigation, they didn't just take Al's word that he was in Oklahoma. Right. They went and right. Got the, but we're we're. You I'm know? sorry. Well, we're, they we're understanding that right. I'm sorry, Jen. No, it's okay, babe. Go ahead. I, I just, um, you know, we're looking at it from the, the, you know, it's December of 2023, and and we're listening to these calls from January of 2020, and and if you remember back to One. that time, oh uh, yeah, I'm sorry, Jan 2021 is what I meant to say. Um, I misspoke. Um, but at that time, there were absolutely rumors going around about how Albert was never even in Oklahoma. And there were all the rumors going around about Heather. And there were all this, you know, yeah. and, and it really makes me wonder how active a participant in this bullshit was Amy Bolton, really? It does make she's, me wonder. She's all wonder. over. She's yeah, she's memorized the WTAF interview. Um, I mean, she hit all the high points of the interview, and she thinks that that this woman, Connor's mom, was you know paid a pretty penny for all this publicity that she got. And and Amy, right now, I mean, Amy is absolutely on Letitia's team, reporting back to her. I mean, um, they're psyching each other up. And listen. When when uh, when Amy started telling Letitia about that damn WTAF interview, Letitia's voice changed like she just got a stimulus check. She got very, very happy about it. Now, it was something that's important to remind everybody about the woman that they're talking about uh, that gave this interview. OK, she's also the same woman that. Letitia wanted her to say that she had seen something. What was it, Jen? Remember, this is the woman she wanted to, to lie, which is why she went to the El Paso County Sheriff's Office and oh, Nicole an interview Mobley. with her, and she's yeah. trying to get Letitia. That's, yeah, a, that's Nicole a different Mobley. chick, isn't it? Nicole Mobley is Who am I thinking of? the one she wanted to get her to lie yeah. about seeing Edgar in the suitcase. But then who is, who gave, so Connor's mom. Oh, that's what I was going to, okay, I'm sorry, you guys, I'm tired too. And it's, we've been on here for almost uh, three hours. What I wanted to say about Connor's mom is Connor, the interviews with Connor are referenced in the case file or the case reports. And we talked about them. And mm -hmm. particularly as it pertains to Connor. Now, the um, Connor's mom didn't get paid anything to be on YouTube, Amy. That isn't even how YouTube works. But it does make me wonder if Amy is still skulking around these YouTube streets. And if you are, Amy, call me. Because I'd really right. like to hear your, your side of the story. I really would. Right. And I do know that Connor's mom was so upset by the harassment that she received as a result of doing that WTAF interview that she told them that if they didn't take it down, she was going to sue them. Um, she made a report to the El Paso County Sheriff's Office about the harassment that was a result 
I mean, basically she called the police on WTAF. Um, they took the video down. We still have it. Um, this is all coming from public record. Um, but I have to wonder how involved was Amy in the harassment that Connor's mom did receive. I mean, we heard at the end of that phone call, she's like, and she's like, and what was her name again? I mean, you could, Amy was writing shit down just now with Letitia. She's writing it down. She's like, wait, what was the kid's name again? Connor? Okay. All right. Uh, <laughs> right. And right. And, and you know, if, what? Go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, go ahead. If, no, no, if what, babe? If what? I don't remember now. I, I just, uh, I, I, I believe that Amy was very involved in, in, uh, I mean, she, look, if this were a court case, we would have just found the premeditation if she did harass this woman. I mean, she just said she wanted right. to do it and she's, and she's taken notes on how to find the lady. Um, now I'm not saying that that was wrong. I mean, I think the whole thing is fascinating. Um, everything that Connor's mom did to involve herself and, um, and all of that. And I'm not accusing Amy of stalking this woman or harassing her, but she just said it on a recorded phone call that that's what she wanted to do. And then I know because we're looking at history that that's exactly what happened. It was a whole shit show. And there was so much drama around Albert and the affair with Heather and 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 Connor's mom got into a fight with Albert at the memorial and it was all these rumors rumors about Gannon not being the biological son of Albert Albert not going to Oklahoma Albert being a gambler or a drug addict and and we're hearing all these things being said in the calls and I just wonder you know was this Letitia at the strings and was you know how much of the information that we were being fed at that time, January of 2021, got it right that time. Um, how much of that was coming from Letitia? I mean, is that, are we hearing, you know, the genesis of every rumor that we heard during that time right now in these I phone calls? I was just thinking the same thing. Yeah, I was yeah. just thinking the same thing because they did in the in the phone call before this one, they did reference Heather and, yeah. um, and then said, no, he's now playing house with a new one woman and then they talked about well she's just a babysitter well that's what Letitia says right, right. Um, but it it does make you wonder if what you know rumors come from someplace they don't just appear somebody has right. to float the rumor and it does make you wonder if they're talking about specific rumors that we know were floated what I would be curious about what we should try to find out is to we know the date of this call right and mm. we do have screenshots and stuff i know ali does from back in the day from the facebook groups and i'm curious um about the dates on those yeah it's real interesting when you go back and put things together in the order yeah. that it happened not the order that we found out about it but in the actual order it happened and it just it it's uh, listen, there's a reason why I sometimes smoke pot. Right. And there was this time. Okay. There was one point in the, in the phone calls, um, with between Letitia and Amy, where for just a split second, I almost, when she was talking about Lena more than anything, it almost seemed like she was. Hyping Letitia up in an effort for Letitia to soften on Landon and allow Harley to testify or to give a deposition in the um, custody case. Right, because it sounds like there Harley was, believed it was her very, mom very, and was worried about Lena. Harley wanted Lena to go to Landon because yes. Harley hated Albert. That's what they're saying. Yeah. Yeah, and but so Harley was wasn't able to do that because it was it Letitia's game. Exactly. Which Harley didn't need Letitia's. Let's be clear. Harley did not actually legally need Letitia's permission to to testify or to give a deposition or whatever it was they wanted her to do. 
Okay. She didn't need Letitia's permission, but I will tell you this, it gives you a, a glimpse into the dynamic between Harley and Letitia. Harley could have right. gone and given a deposition and Letitia wouldn't have to, wouldn't be able to say boo. Right. But Letitia's, and I mean, she's good at pulling those strings with those people. And I wonder well, how close we are to the video visit where Harley laughed about uh, Landon inviting her to the, um, I don't know if it was the memorial or the vigil or, or whatever it was. Yeah, I'd like to compare that to you. I mean, it, it just makes you wonder about some things. You know what I mean? But it does, it gives you that. The other thing is, is that in all of the phone calls that we've listened to this whole time, since October of 2020, we're now at January of 2021. We heard in December, from December of 2020, a conversation between Letitia and Harley about Harley potentially giving a deposition. That's not the word that they use, but I, I'm pretty sure that's what they're talking about. Anyway, yeah. And it was very it was the subject, the call was not brief, but that that part of the call was very brief, which I always thought right. was interesting. If, if Letitia knows all, because she, at that point she was already starting to, to leak out some of the stuff that she's been talking about, like the cahooting and with her and her and Landon were cahooting to get the kids back to Landon and all the things, right? There were some calls in um, December of 2020 where, the, where some of these little seeds are planted for lack of a better word with you um, know and you would think though that if there was any truth to any of the things that Letitia said that she would tell Harley to tell somebody because how would that hurt Letitia there's no cartel that you don't go to the cartel when right. you want somebody they bumped off. Okay. And it's not like, it, they're not like, it's not like you can look them up in the yellow pages or on Google for Pete's sake. Right, Leticia? Because didn't you try to, to look up some things on the Google? How'd that work out for you there? Shug. Um, <laughs> but it's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. And I don't understand. I can, I don't understand the amping her up and, and feeding into to, to this. I, in the beginning, there was a moment, like I said, not of this call, but of the call before this, where it sounded like what uh, Amy was doing was trying to, like I said, get Letitia to soften and let Harley give her deposition. And that's what, I, and, and she does on a very small scale, call Letitia out on her BS and she says, but if Albert is all of these things, then why wouldn't you want to protect Lena? Right. And she's not wrong. I mean, that is lot that is common sense thinking. That is, I can follow that logic. I can follow that rationale. But right. And in my opinion, if I'm Amy and I'm doing it for the good. Right. The minute I hear that out of Letitia's mouth, her Letitia's response to that is the reason that I don't give a rat's fat kneecap and I'm not fixing to help is because Landon talked shit about me one time back in 1993 or whatever fucking year she gave on mm -hmm. October 3rd. It was, it was 2016, but yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm being facetious. In 2016, <laughs> Landon talked shit. To, that's how you make the list. Landon talked shit about me one time, you know, in 2016. And for that reason, um, even though I'm calling this person a monster and, and they you know, saying all these things, mm, you know, it's not that big. she can sit, she can go scratch. You know what I mean? It, it makes no sense. And so that's what tells me that it doesn't appear 
at this point in the calls. I might change my mind when we hear the rest of the calls. But as far as up to call number 12, I don't I don't believe now that Amy's doing anything for the greater good. Because if she were, that would be the last call she makes to, or you know takes from Letitia, period. Yeah, Amy sounds because like it, me when I'm high on social very media. Clear what Letitia's right? Um, I, I mean, it's, Amy. It's like okay, so you don't want you don't want her to help. It just makes a sense. Yeah, I think at this point, Amy has fed all the way into, you know, social media and her having the power of information that she believes is real because she is so close to the case. And she's watching all of us idiots try to figure it out when we don't know what we're talking about. And I think there's some disinformation practices going on here, but she's got that tone about her. Like she's like, she's high on social media. Um, she's getting all into it. It's taken over her, her reality, her existence. It is her real life, but the way she's acting is I, I really do. I, I don't know. I don't, I can't, I can't explain it right, so I'm just gonna stop trying. But the thing that I found like the most fascinating is when Letitia said uh, that right there backs up everything, and she was talking about Connor's mom's interview with WTAF, and and Letitia got excited because Connor's mom said on YouTube that she came in on the 28th and Albert was loading a gun, and Albert took that gun and went and shot Gannon after he was already dead. Now, Letitia, at this point, has already started the lie that Gannon's actual, uh, that Gannon actually died on the 28th. Right. Um, you know, she's gone from the lie about, you know, like when she's talking to Grusing when she gets arrested, that she believes he's still alive. I mean, she's, she, we've gone through a lot of lies with this woman, but right now, the story is that it happened on the 28th. Albert came in on the 28th from Oklahoma and he was kind of like in a moment of rage, I believe were her words. And, you know, and then she says that, that he went and he killed Gannon and Gannon was being held by Edgar uh, because Albert owed him this uh, excessive yes. gambling debt. Right. right. Um, and so when Letitia hears that Connor's mom is saying that Albert went and shot Gannon on the 28th. Letitia thinks, you know, she hasn't been this lucky. She hasn't been this lucky since she found Eduardo in the toilet at jail. Right. Right. I mean, she just hit another jackpot. Exactly. You know? And she is still working. Believe me, you guys. Yes. She's, you know, saying what she's saying about, uh, about Landon and about Al. And it all, it seems like it's wrapped up in under the guise of, well, Landon wants me to go testify that, or wants Harley to testify that, that Al is not a good dad, yada, 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 whatever, whatever, whatever. Right. But it's not, it's actually, I mean, it is in the moment to Amy, right. But it's part of the bigger overall scheme, which is Ed Edgar. Right. You know that, and she still, She's still using that today. She said it. She sent a message to Allie not that long ago about doing some kind of search. Uh, you're going to need to be way more specific, Leticia. I can't just be walking around, you know, all of uh, the Floridas and asking. I mean, yeah, I live here, but, you know, I don't have all the time in the world. Could you give me a better hint than just some, you know, just search this. Search it where? I need a city. Uh, but I'm I, don't know. I feel like I'm not saying that to search anything because it's a whole ass lie. <laughs> yeah, and you better watch out or she actually will. And then you'll have another rabbit hole. And I'm still trying. Oh man. Man. Yeah. And and so anyway, I wonder how bad Connor's mom felt when she realized that uh once she put that story about Albert out into the public, then um Letitia's most recent lie was actually backed up by it. You know, there were a lot of emotions right, and there exactly. was a lot of drama. You think there was a lot of drama on social media? There was a whole lot of drama behind the scenes 
with people who were part of the investigation. And um, there always is. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm curious uh, what, no, I, I what am. Uh, Amy Bolton's you, you, <laughs> YouTube channel, YouTube uh, handle is. You know, oh, I don't that's know. A very, I, mean, I mean, makes you wonder I is, figured, is Amy, are Amy and Letitia still communicating? I don't know. What? I mean, listen, I'm pretty sure that Amy Bolton, if if not listening right now, will be listening to the replay right now. And um, in that case, everybody's contact information is is all easy to find. And we would love to hear from you. We have a lot of questions. I mean, listen, if I haven't pissed her off by now, I'm pretty sure tonight might have done it. Um, so you have, you know, there's one of three doors that you can you can walk into. And that's Allie's and Jen's and mine. And you're going to find something a little bit different behind each door, but it's all the same because we're a team. But um, we have some questions and we will not pay you. No pretty penny will be made, ma'am. No, that's right. And not only that, I, I not only do I have questions, I can t I already know I'm going to have follow up questions. Right. <laughs> questions on top of questions. So many questions. So you'll probably go into a culture shock. Yes, I don't. What what is there to culture shock in Colorado? I'm not I, sure. I'm what? wondering if it's maybe a bar because apparently you can go into it. I, I don't. I don't, even I don't know. In I, a I, culture I shock, she I, I probably no was idea. in a culture shock. Maybe it's a brand name. Is it like a beanie? <laughs> I don't know. A dress, a shirt, you know, Vinny right. Vines. Spare yeah. <laughs> Shut up, Letitia. Look. Look. Uh, I'm glad that you that you spent money and you dressed oh the kids God. nicely. Okay. But I bet that they would have rather, if they had a choice between you being a psycho hose beast and with or not being a psycho hose beast and wearing name brand clothes, they probably would have picked for you not to be a psycho hose based. Right. It's okay. Pretty simple. You don't get, and you don't get credit for dressing your children nicely or being clean. Okay. That's yeah. part of adulting. Ugh. All right, you guys. Yeah. Well, on one hand, on, on one hand, I don't like leaving it here. I mean, I, I need to, I mean, this has been a great therapy session for me and I thank you for it very much. It was, a, it was a tough day today. Oh, happy to help. Um, <laughs> um, I, so like, I, you know, I hate to end it here at the same time. It's, it's really good for me to end it here. <laughs> yeah. Because there's a lot of stuff and, and listen, I wanted to tell you guys, um, in case you don't know, hold on. I want to, I want to get this for you guys really quick. Um, I have, um, a Patreon and I'm, I've combined the reality TV and the the um, the uh, true crime stuff so that I don't have to create a third YouTube channel. And I'm going to sh share that right now. I am working on lots of lots of things. And I will say this. Um, one of the things that I'm working on is a Gannon documentary. And then another thing that I'm working on is going back um, through the calls and <clears throat> pointing out some stuff that maybe we missed or just like to highlight some interesting things that we learned from the calls as well as um, the uh, toilet talk with Tisha. Um, what's eating Letitia Stout and Letitia and the Volturi and what had happened was. And uh, the first one, Letitia and the Volturi will be premiering tomorrow. I've got, I'm going to do it before the phone calls uh, are played on Allie's channel. So be looking for that, you guys. So are you going to spell it the everybody. way that she spells it? What? Volturi? Volturi. Yeah. No, I'm spelling it. <laughs> okay. I can't do it. Okay. Um, But... 
I want to thank everybody for being here tonight. We had this was a really great live. Everybody in chat was really super cool. Um, and I want to thank you guys for that. And uh, thank you, Crime Curious, for being up here tonight. Thank you, Allie. Welcome to the new members. Thank you for the super chats. Thank you for the thumbs up. Thank you for the gifted memberships. Um, I am very blessed to have this community. You guys are all wonderful. And with that, I bid you a fond farewell. And I will see you guys later. Bye.